you go, hey, what's going on? What up? Not too much. Not too much. Wait, what? You just, what are you doing awake? Uh, wait, am I mute? I'm not muted. No, I'm not. Let's go. Oh, yeah. So, um, uh, uh, we, we've, here we go. Um, let's just let me walk out of here for a second. Uh, just one, one sec. I'm just gonna, you know, just in case there's some. Okay, cool. What? Oh, we we sprung a leak. This is insanity. Yeah, it, it kind of is. Just give me a sec. Whoa. We sprung a leak. What is going on? How did these guys get here? I don't know how these guys got here, but anyways, um, this, uh, so I said I was gonna AFK at the gold farm. I'm gonna be honest, I only AFK'd for about two or three hours on Friday, and then, um, for the last three hours this morning. Uh, apparently I'm at almost level 500. Maybe never spawn proof fully. I think they're somehow popping out into there somehow. Um, it looks like our... We need to add another storage system. Okay, yeah, off stream I also added a rotten flesh dispenser thing. Just in case the rotten flesh got full. It looks like we're... Oh my... Oh my god. Oh my god. Also, yeah, I turned some blocks to gold. Anyways, we we did this last stream. We built this last stream. Uh, let me just shut these off because they're very annoying. Um, stop. And stop. Okay, good. No more clicking. All right, now I can talk. Add sign, thank you for the tier 3, 28 months. It's so long. Oh my god. Okay, do you know about ice? In the nether. Yes, I know about ice and boats in the nether. So, yeah, we finished the uh, half of the gold sorting thing. Uh, the thing is, we didn't really have enough... Um, we didn't have enough quartz or something to finish the other side because it requires comparators to build, like, a sorting system. So, we're probably going to do that today. Uh, oh, man, it's going to start overflowing flesh into one of these, isn't it? Yeah, flesh is gonna start overflowing into one of these. I'm not sure which one, but 100% it's overflowing right now. Anyways, or maybe it's just backing up here. I don't know anymore. But anyways, yeah. Um, today we're doing we're finishing the other half of the gold farm sorting, and we're gonna make the piglin trading facility. I also got a chunky runky visit. Why are there no flesh blocks? I know. When are they gonna make rotten flesh blocks? Uh, but for, first things first, I think we have to make a bunch of gold, uh, gold blocks and just see how much we get from a few hours of this good stuff. I have, like, what? We really have to bring, like, a villager here for stuff. Honestly, after looking at this, I think it's probably best if we just yeet the swords. I don't think it's worth the effort to haul, like... I, I really, really don't think it's actually worth the effort to haul over um, fuel all the time, you know? I just don't think it's worth it. Because we could smelt the swords, but we could also just throw them in the trash. Every double chest is worth six stacks of ingots. Yeah, so we we have a few it seems. I I'm not exactly sure of the 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 how many gold blocks we have, but it seems like we got a a pretty d a decent amount of gold blocks here. And yeah, I'll cover what we what we're gonna do again. Um, let's see here. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Oh my, we have so much freaking nuggets now. It's crazy, but whatever. How's everybody doing? I am a little tired because I got up at four. 
No, I guess it was 3 a.m. I got up at 3 a.m. today, which was nice, because I was out of town this weekend. I was in um, Calgary, which is a bit of a ways away, because I'm trying to move, you know, and I'm I'm trying to look at trying to look at houses so I can move to a, a place that isn't uh, so I don't have to exist in one bedroom for the rest of my life. Well, that that's the goal at least. Um, and yeah, so I ended up having to catch my flight home this morning. Um, so yeah, I, I got two hours of sleep last night in a bed. Uh, I slept 45 minutes before my flight. I slept 45 minutes on one flight. I slept 45 minutes on the layover. I slept 45 minutes on the next flight, and then now I'm here. Better internet where you're going? Oh my god, you have no idea. So I have about five hours of sleep split into 45 minute increments. Um, it's probably not the best sleep quality. I don't know how long I'm going to stream today because, you know, I am dead tired, but I have a feeling that Skyblock kind of always keeps me going. It, uh, you know, I don't know what it is, but this Skyblock, man, it, it's good. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a walkthrough of what we have so far. I just need to turn all of his gold into gold blocks real fast because... There's a lot. I'm just gonna... Is there a chest that I can dump my inventory into just so we can speed this up a little bit? There's... Yeah, this will work. This will work better. Okay, there we go. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, bang. Yeah, see? That'll be faster. Okay, do you have plans in your country? Or do you have planes? Yeah, that's what Saskatchewan is for. All the planes biomes. Okay. We have so many freaking nuggets, dude. What was that sign saying? Imagine a skybox team that doesn't go for 10 hours. It's not gonna go for 10 hours. It'll go for 12. Um. Anyways, what you can hear over here is 24 piglins. They're all named Clint for some reason. Jammed into a hole. We figured out how to auto trade with them. Um, so that's great. So we got our Clint's in a hole. It's our Clint hole. Come on, give me, give me the nuggets. I know you're out soon. Whatever. Oh my god, the Clint stream. Yeah, we, we spent like two hours packing Clint's into a hole. How did you get the piglins? Uh, we made a platform like 60 something blocks away and then just railed them over here. We brought them with a minecart, minecart in a ra on a rail. Oh my, oh, I guess these are full too. The hoppers are full as well. I never even considered that. Oh my god. We have so much gold. Jeez. Did you manage to fix your farm today? Farm Friday? Oh yeah. How the hell did you make it over here? Bruh, I should probably eat. It looks like I'm about to die. Uh, where did I dump my inventory? Here? Let's just have a golden carrot real quick. Delicious. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, we are level 489. That is after AFKing at the farm for about five hours. Um, uh, it seems like this farm does do pretty well with the whole EXP thing. Repair your armor. I don't really think I need to. My armor's fine. I'll, I'll be okay. Also, we're definitely. But that's on easy. They're dealing so much damage. Like we'll, we'll be. We're, we're good. We're copium. My armor is fine. Also, it's very quiet. I'm gonna turn on music to have some more background stuff rather than the background singing of the, the piglins in the hole. So let's turn that on real quick. I forgot. Uh, I guess I didn't forget. I literally just didn't have time to fix my sub counter. I. We'll fix my sub counter um, tonight, and I'll also upload a video either today or tomorrow on YouTube. It's been too long. I'm, I'm doing. I'm recharged. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Um, what game has a good soundtrack? Did you fix your magma cream farm? My magma cream farm was never broken. It literally worked from the moment we had it finished. I don't know what you. Uh, wait, you must be from the YouTube clips. Um, yeah, we just figured out how to solve it. Don't worry. Mario Galaxy? Yo, you know what? That's a good one. Super Mario Ga Galaxy music. Ha! <laughs> 
<coughs> there we go. Good suggestion. Good suggestion. Do those piglins constantly stay angry at you? No. This is their neutral sound. It's just there's 24 in there, so they make a lot of noise. I'll probably turn off uh, friendly mob sounds whenever we're- if we're spending a lot of time here. But, you know, all I'm doing right now is I'm just converting about 20,000 golden nuggets into gold blocks, so... Just don't it's actually way more than 20,000 golden nuggets now that I think about the math. It is like way, way more than 20,000. Isn't it? Because it is... One, two, three, four... Five, six. It was like six double chests. And I'm pretty sure... No, that that is like 20,000. Yeah, six double chests is about 20,000. Or a little bit more than that. Kind of crazy. Can you see the goals for Skyblock? Yes, you can see the goals in the command. But I think this farm... will do the thing. Oh, do I have to check that email? Let me check. House related? Perfect. All right. Never mind. I think I'm gonna get a call from the 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 realtor person. I spent. It was great. The realtor that I that I got. Uh, basically, I was. I don't have a vehicle in Calgary, obviously, and I flew there. And she was like, "I'll pick you up and show you the places." And I was like, "Great." So yeah, I got. I got. I got driven around like a child to look at houses. Was she a fan? No, she had no idea what Twitch was. It was great. Um... The music is quiet. Yes. Um... Real estate nice of her. <laughs> yes. Um... You know what? Let's have some fun really quick and, and test the limits of this thing. Because we've never really fully done a good test of this. Uh, just give me a moment. Let's grab all my stuff back now. Bam, bam, bam. One, two, three. And then I don't care the rest of my inventory. Alright, we're good. Yo, it's the boy. Yes, that's me. Hello. Uh, I need more observers. Yeah, I think, honestly, I'm just gonna yeet all of the swords. I'm gonna put them into a dispenser, and I'm gonna send them off into space. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them join the space program. I think that is the best solution. I'll be honest. Yep. Piglin Waterfall. Yeah, they were mad at me. I don't think they're mad at me anymore. Oh, no. They're still very mad at me. Okay, well, we're gonna ignore that. The turtles will come back armed to the teeth. The turtles have no power over me, okay? So, yeah, as you can see, the piglins are kind of going crazy in there, and we're gonna trade with them real quick. We're gonna go back. Bam. No, that's backwards. Okay. Do you like beans? Who doesn't like beans these days? Let's be honest. Come on. What kind of question is that? Um, bam, bam. So, do I go here? And then here? No. I did that backwards. I go here. No. I am so conf... I... No. How... Yeah, right. So yeah, this basically feeds them gold. And uh, then they spit out items. So we just converted gold into all of that stuff there. Pretty amazing, right? Look at that. Look at how much good stuff we just got. Or we're getting. Uh, we do need multiple hoppers. We need to figure out a better system to like hopper this properly. Because, yeah, this chest might not be enough. It's a very basic trading facility. Um, but we have to automate it a little bit better. Wait, what? Did they slip out the back? Why was there stuff back here? We gotta, we gotta do more testing. It looks like stuff slipped out the back. YouTube tutorial moment? Nah, nah, nah. We're doing this one ourselves. I think it might have slipped out the corner. If I had to guess, I would guess it slipped out the corner. But uh, I, I do have an idea. We may need to harvest some ice for the first time. But we need to figure out the rate at which they can accept items. Let's see. 
But yeah, the, the hopper is de Oh, wait. How, how did Ender Pearls get here? Huh? Okay, we need to make the walls thicker, apparently. Okay. <laughs> we'll need to make the walls a little bit thicker. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Uh, yeah. Let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, no, it's just feeding them in. Why are you filling up all of the slots? I think what we'll probably do is, um... We are going to make an item filter for all of the items that this can collect. This machine can collect. So, we're gonna make an item filter for, you know... I gotta shut this off, this is so annoying. There we go. Alright, good. We should definitely invest in packed ice. It's super useful for bulk transportation. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I think we're gonna make, you know, a nice- we only have 23 nether brick. We're gonna need a lot of nether brick. That's one of the, the key things that we're needing. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna make an item sorter for all of the items except for the soul speed books, the water bottles, and that's it. I think everything else we keep. We're gonna keep the string, the obsidian, crying obsidian, blackstone. Crying soul sand. I think everything else is worth keeping, especially the nether pearl, or the nether, nether pearl, nether quartz, and nether brick. Wait, are you gonna send the useless stuff off to space like gravel and water bottles? Bro, you haven't been watching much Skyblock. Gravel has been the lifeblood of this for so long. But yeah, I think we, we need to figure out a way to filter out potions of fire resistance. I think there is a way to do that with brewing stands. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it would be good. Um, will you keep the rotten flesh? Yeah, I'll show you why we're keeping the rotten flesh. Um, in just a second here. Uh, I think we will want to bring a villager into the nether, or a few cleric villagers. <laughs> you don't know you haven't been watching enough Skyblock? Hey, that's okay. That's alright. So, this is the overworld right now. Um, we have our iron farm, which has been acting up. We might need to rebuild it. There's our cobble farm. It's made of iron. There's our mob farm. We should remake that soon to have, like, a, a water flushing system. Is this running? I can't even... I don't know if it's running or not. Because we've been AFKing in the nether so much. Uh... Yeah, I don't know if it's running. I, I think it is, but... Fix your armor, my armor is fine. Yeah, we have a few things. What do we got? We got our kelp farm. We can get ice up there if we just put some water, so... We might go ahead and do that. You'll need at least three to four clerics. Oh, we'll need more clerics than that. 100% more than that. But we're gonna yeet all of the swords into the void. It's just not worth my time. Because I think we have three clerics already, and... Why? Hello? That is so weird. There's one. There's two clerics. That's only one inventory. And three clerics wasn't enough. And we have like... 30 inventories worth. But we do have 48 emeralds now. So that'll be an interesting... problem we have to solve. Um, bro, look at your level. Yes, I- oh, yeah, the iron farm is working good. Oh, there's- I mean, I guess I have been sitting in the nether for a while. You know what? They're scared of the cats. Whatever. We'll leave them. Okay, you have the same iron farm design. It works consistently. You put trap doors that are attached to the alien center with the zombie gets closed into its box at night so the village can never sleep. Iron golems never seem to spawn. It seems, I mean, we just, we just rebuilt it once and was, like, having issues. Uh, but yeah, what is that level? I mean, I just was at the farm for a little bit, you know? Do you consider this a job or a hobby? It's both. It's a, it's a jobby. It pays the bills, but I also, it's what I would be doing if I wasn't streaming anyways. 
So, yeah. Uh, I think first thing we should probably do is make, like, a giant water pool upstairs. And, uh, try and get some ice generation going. Because we will definitely need some ice for, uh, the piglin trading facility. Because I think what we're gonna have to do is, um, we're gonna have to use ice to... And then put hopper minecarts, like... What? We're gonna have to put hoppy... Why am I grabbing so many buckets? Two is enough. Uh, put... We're gonna have to put so many hopper minecarts... In, um... In the ice blocks and just run it over top, I think, is probably the best way of going about it. Because we're gonna need a lot of hoppers to collect all the stuff that they spit out. Um, let's see... Do we have any... No available powdered snow. I'm gonna go up a little bit more. How does ice generate? Does it have to have ice beside it to generate to begin with? Or how does that work? I haven't I haven't checked on ice generation in a minute. What biome is this? Windswept hills still? Good. It's just, it's literally just biome based, so if I place this water down, it can freeze. Isn't there like a thing where it's faster? Like if you do something? Because we're at the level where it gives snow and ice, I just... I'm curious as to... You notice your level is 420 plus 69? That's true, yeah, it is fate. Water is open to the sky. And it freezes, okay. Good to know. Uh, we're just gonna have to come in up. We're gonna have to make an ice farm soon. That's not right. We're 100% gonna have to make an ice farm soon. Because, um... Oh, hey, look at that. Ice. We have silk touch? Yep. I guess we could just camp out here for a, a few minutes. But yeah, that was damn quick. Is there a higher chance for ice to form if there's already ice there? make this even bigger. Should we just make like a big ice platform up here? Oh my god, it's kind of fast. I think we should. We will need a lot of ice. Maybe we'll make like an ice farm. But yeah, it does seem pretty fast. But I mean, to make blue ice, we'll need 81, so we'll probably just use packed ice. But yeah, I, I... Something that else that we need that I found we were struggling with last time was... Uh, the few... The projects that are in the most need of being done is definitely... The automatic wood farm is 100% uh, necessary. I think an automatic wood farm is a very good investment. Uh, it'll save us a lot of time with, like, hoppers, especially now that we're automating so many more things and we're needing so many hoppers. I think it would be a good idea to, um, have, uh, have that set up a bit better. But yeah, that'll, well, you know what, I'll just let that freeze. We'll be fine here. We'll let that freeze. It's, like, 25 ice. Whatever. Check the wiki for the ice farm. I think I have a, a night. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to start a raid right now. I. I don't want my villagers. To, how did you? Are there more of you? Are you killing the villagers right now? I need this guy to go. What a rare occurrence. I gotta check on my villagers. Oh, I should have trapped him for later. That's true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, 100% we would have trapped him for when we were ready for a raid. Nah, he's part of the space program now. It's too late. He's gone. 
The great thing about our wandering trader farm is that we can also, uh, if we just get rid of the torches or slightly change the position of the torches, it will turn into a, a wandering farm for those guys. A farm for those guys, which is great. So that will be cool. Why did I do this? Yeah. Ice packed ice. Let's go. We have blue ice from the wandering trader. Ice packed ice, blue ice. Why did they make blue ice? You can kill them, drink milk. Yeah, I don't know how close I am to the village though, or like being near a bed if that'll cause problems. And there's a technically a village right there. Like it, it could start a raid by accident, and I don't want to. Um, but yeah, major thing we need, I think. Yeah, this is just a brief tour. We have some extra farms as well. We have like a wandering trader farm, a dripstone farm, a lava farm, a slime farm, a magma farm, and then yeah, our gold farm, which is. Uh, in this direction. But something that we need to do that is a pretty high priority is... Uh, definitely, we need to um, mirror this and add it to the that side. And then um, then we need to figure out a, a th what we're going to do with the clints. Because uh, they need to go and... Um, we need to make a, a storage area for them. <clears throat> you fixed the iron farm? Yeah. Yeah, we did. But I mean... The gold farm was successful. We will be able to trade with them and get a ton of good stuff. Uh, I need quartz mostly from these guys right now. <clears throat> oh, I just realized I didn't fix my screen yet. Um, so yeah, we're gonna finish with the, uh, the, the gold farm sorting. Literally, all we need to do is just make a, a mirror the sorting machine. It's gonna take a few seconds because I, like, I, I just need to mirror it. That's it. Um, and then, then we can figure out the fun piglin trading facility part of this. I mean, it, we already have the design. We just need to, like, make it a little bit more elegant and then make a sorting thing for it. But, yeah, so let's, we have 49 hoppers. Um, we need a few comparators, some redstone, and that's pretty much it. <clears throat> How are there no railings? I kind of just got used to it. To be honest, I just got used to it. Okay, we'll probably need a few observers. Oh, we actually had some nether quartz. Since when? Do we have any smooth stone? Not really. That's the one thing we don't have. We don't have like an automated smelting system to turn our regular cobble into um, smooth stuff. So occasionally we need to walk to our old smooth stone farm. L, you fell off. I haven't fallen off. Look at my level. It's level 489. Come on. And yeah, there's railings on, like, the part where I've fallen off before <laughs> and decided to put railings. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I played, thought about playing modded Minecraft. No, I refuse. None of that modded shit for me. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna make... Apparently just nine comparators. Do I actually need more smooth stone? We will need more comparators for the the piglin trading facility. We're gonna need uh, How many items are there? There's like 15 or something that they can give you we need like 15 L plus radio. Oh something that we should figure out right now because I think we have a good opportunity Let's figure out how to make a sorting system for potions. I think I have an idea of how it works, but I'm not exactly sure. Just fall off for the TikTok. I could. Just just uh, fake it. That's what all the other TikTokers do, at least. <laughs> I see so many, um... What's it called? GeoGuessr TikToks that are, like, completely fake. Where, like, every day they are randomly dropped to their own house or something like that and it's like yeah okay yeah i believe you yep sure i feel like it's obvious they're fake yeah it's it's like obvious they're fake but also the comments are don't think so which is very scary 
Uh, we need more redstone, so let's go, go do that. It's, it's doxing themselves for TikTok clout. That is the way. You know what's not fake? My circle building skills. You're right. I built so many circles over and over again. Not because I messed up, but because I wanted to. It was gr I'm just that good. Boom, boom, boom. You guys are probably restocked, yeah. I just wanted to get rid of my flesh. Thank you so much, sirs. You are so kind. All right, good. <sighs> How do you get villagers? You'll have to watch the YouTube video when it comes out. Uh, we need a few more. Actually, we're good on torches. I'm gonna make a few more, though. Not that many. Not that many. That'll work. Okay, then we have 58. We need- we need, still need some repeaters. Uh, here. Need more chests as well. Let's just turn all of his wood into chests. 27 should be enough. Um... 10 repeaters. Okay, good. Yeah, great. Okay. When is the next YouTube video coming out? I'm not exactly sure when, but it's soon. I, I need more wood. <laughs> Condensing a hundred hours of video into one... Sounds like quite the task. Yeah. I might just risk it full send and be like, Yo. Here's phase one. And just risk it. I don't know. I don't want to commit to a series that bombs, but... If people like it, it could be worth it. How'd the house surging go? Good! But kind of not good. The housing market is insane. So, like... I was looking at houses, and you know, they're not terrible houses, but they're not, like, stupid mansions that are, like, ridiculous. They're just, like, good middle-class homes, right? And so I was looking through them. I, I actually found two that I that I really liked that would, that would suit my needs on the trip. You're only on phase two. We're finishing the stuff that we left alone in phase two because we weren't able to do it yet. But, you know, I did actually find two that I, that I, that I really liked that would be like, you know what, I would, I would be happy with this. And so, ended up, um, put some offers into some houses, and, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get them. I didn't get the houses. You know why, though? Do you know why I didn't get the houses? Because these, the, the offers that were not my own, the other offers. Um, so, it's in Calgary, which is one of the more affordable cities to live in Canada. Uh, one of the houses that I, the one that I wanted the most, um... They ended up, uh, where's my glass? It ended up that the offer that beat mine was $120,000 over the asking price. They were paying in cash, and they didn't want a house inspection. And they owned the, and the, um, the possession date was six months from now. Like, I can't, like, I probably could, but I'm, I don't want to do that. If I'm getting a house, I want to know that if there's anything wrong with it. And then, you know, the next house as well, the next house that I was going to go for as well. You're not going to believe this, but exactly the same thing. $110,000 over the asking price in cash. No inspection. And I was like, I, like, no. Like, I want to know if the house has any issues before I buy it. What the hell is wrong with people?
It's only 110k Canadian. Yeah, exactly. It's like that's like nothing US anyway, so whatever. But yeah, the 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 market is cr I mean, I I imagine it's just like people are finally trying to get houses now that, you know, COVID is kind of it's not over yet, obviously, but it's starting to get better and people have been waiting and they're just like anxious to buy a house before it's too late. I would I would guess. And they're just doing anything they can to get their hands on one, it feels like. Which is ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, I might have to take a few more trips to Calgary to... To actually get a house. A little absurd, but... It is what it is, I guess. People were definitely not waiting to buy a house during COVID. I mean... Maybe not in the US, but, um... In Canada, I feel like people were waiting. But hopefully, the, the actually, I, I, I lied, actually, I lied. Um, apparently the, the house that was, the first house that I was talking about, that was $120,000 over asking. There actually was a condition. It was a, a financing condition, apparently. And because they were overpaying for the house, there's a chance that the bank appraises it and then, like, their mortgage doesn't go through because they're overpaying for it and they don't have enough money for the mortgage or whatever. So there's a chance I could get that one still, but it's very low. Anyways, um, so that was my weekend, just trying to n not live in a, a single room for the rest of my life. How are you guys? House tour when I move in? Uh... I don't know, we'll see. It's like, I don't have any furniture. It's gonna take me like a year to furnish a place like that, or years, multiple years. Are you looking in the north or south? Um, it was mostly south, but I did look at some places in the northwest. Is this too low? Ah, oh, damn it. I hope you like the cold. Bro, I was in a t-shirt there. It is cold. It, well, I'm moving to a place warmer than where I currently live. Piglin trading facility. Yeah, we got 20, 24 clints up in here. So we're just working away. For Skyblock, just upload 100 hours of raw footage. I mean, that's what the VOD channel is going to be. <laughs> <clears throat> Ever smoked weed? No, I don't really have any interest in it either. It's just... I don't know. I, I saw what... Like, my friends at the time, I saw, you know, it's, you know, people say it's not addictive, but it definitely negatively affected their lives in a massive way. And, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I have a pretty addict, I have very little, um, self-control, which is why I've been streaming Skyblock 16 hours a day every day for the past few weeks. I don't, I don't think it would be a good thing for me. I don't think it would be a good thing for me. It... Also, I hate how it smells. It gives me a headache. It smells so bad. Like, oh my god. <clears throat> Edibles don't smell? Well, how could they? They don't have a nose. Uh. I'm sorry, that one was... that one was bad. <sighs> okay, this is our overflow machine, where, like, if this is stuff in it, it, like... ...dumps. Um... Do you have ADHD or something? Yeah. I needed to, to grab something. Dispenser. Wait, you've been sniffing weed? You haven't? Uh, no, I just need droppers, yeah.
<sighs> What's your favorite type of not Western food? Um. I feel like ramen is real good. There's so many good types of soups that aren't, like, that are from other countries. Soup is so good. I love soup. Honestly, soup might be t starting to pull ahead for my my personal power rankings. Um, I'm just gonna be honest. Good soup. Exactly, yeah. Soup is so freaking tasty. And so like, like ramen. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, you know, what? before I build this side, I'm going to build the automated uh, sword chucker. Because swords keep jamming it up and on, I don't, I don't care about, I, I, I really just don't care about the nuggets from swords. It, it It's just not worth my time. It really isn't. Like, I'm gonna have to manually fill it up with fuel all the time. Like, there's no blaze farm that I could pipe over that's really close. It's just, it's not worth it. Man. Did I, did I ever tell you guys how bad my uh, my teacher was in fourth grade? Man, I I I have. It was a very traumatic experience in my life. Um, but uh, let me just tell you about about something about them real quick. Is this filling up? Right? Is that? But, um, let, let me tell you about it. The one that bullied you? Yeah. I remember we had this one assignment where she was teaching French. And, uh, she was like, tell us what your, um, what your everyday routine is. In the morning, for your, your morning routine. And I was like, alright, great. You know, that's easy. And so, what my morning routine was, is, um, I, in like... Uh, grade four is I would get up I would immediately brush my teeth I would have a shower you know do everything else um, you know have breakfast get dressed etc etc not in that order but whatever and then I'd brush my teeth again uh, because I had just really bad breath when I was younger for some reason I don't know why um, I maybe I was just bad at brushing my teeth I'm gonna be honest uh, but, I wrote it out, and I was like, okay. Here is what I do in the morning, in perfect French. And, uh, she, she gave me, like, half marks on the assignment. And I was like, why did I get half marks? The French is perfect. Well, she's like, well, it's, it's your morning routine. Like, you can't, like, you, you said you brushed your teeth twice. I'm like, I do. And she was like, you, sh you shouldn't. And I'm like, are you giving me bad grades on my assignment because my morning routine is bad and not because my French is bad? Is, is that what you're doing right now? And she was like, yes. She just straight up said yes. I was like, what the hell? What did I what did I ever do to you? It was so mean. <clears throat> I hope she's having a bad week right now. I hope so. She's probably retired by now, right? Maybe she died. She was kind of old. I don't know. You had some awful teachers? It was mostly just that one.
Yeah, ever since that day, I vowed to never speak a word of French in my life. Un petit fromage. Ça va mal. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so how do we need to organize this for it to be optimal, right? We need to pluck out the gold first because that's an easy attachment. Boom, 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 boom. We're just going to have it pipe over here. English only, please, chat. I, I can't actually read French, and the moderators don't either, so they're just going to delete the messages because they don't know what they say, and you could say anything. Please, no French. Please. Okay, so this first one is going to be gold. Oh, God. That's going to cause problems. Whatever. Um. So, yeah, that'll plug in there, but now we need... To, wait, I don't think I can plug in there. I think I have to plug in right into this one instead. Yeah. We're going to have to plug in here, I think. Because uh, the lines will cross and they'll have to go way too low. So we're actually going to have to start with the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, you know what? I just realized. I, is this still limited by one hopper speed right here? Eh. It kind of is, isn't it? Okay. Here's what we're going to have to do then. We're going to have to have... Here. This. That. Okay. Mm. This is so tricky. Then we'll have to have overflows. Does that suck that out? Like, how does this work? Does it suck and push them out at the same time? Yeah, it's sucking two out. Okay. But that's only because there's a surplus. But it sucks first. Okay. Mm, I'm just trying to figure out an overflow system in case one of them overflows. Because that could ruin it, the sorter. Did you hear Machu from PG is running for Ultimate Summit? Oh, yeah, I gotta respond to him on Twitter. He's super nice. I know him in real life. He... I, I don't... If he's good at Summit, that would be cool. He's so nice. Um, Void Dropper, yeah, but we need to sense a an overflow. How are we gonna... How are we gonna do this? Um... If it sucks first... Then what we could do... Is have it suck out the back... Oh my god. I really gotta... Before we... I gotta disconnect the lines first. Okay. Good. How'd you become level 489? I just, like... I just really just worked harder than everybody else. Like, it's... Once you really put your mind to something, like, it, everything becomes possible, man. Okay, so this should work. Because this is our rotten flesh. This is our nug. 
chests. And actually, I think we should add another rotten flesh chest part. And then another... You know what? I'm going to do that now. I have enough chests sitting around. I think we need to make this one wider because the amount of flesh we get is kind of on par with the amount of nuggets we get. So I should probably even the amount of chests out for that. I thought it would be enough, but alas, it was not. Is it good that those lead to wood? Uh, we'll fix it in a minute. So this is going to be our... We're basically just going to shift everything over so the rotten flesh has more room to do stuff. Bruh. Bruh. How did... Oh my god. This is what happens when you leave the sorting system open... Or leave the, the pipes open while you are fixing the rest of it. All these damn swords. We'd get like one gold block from all this trash. And it'd take like 40 coal. It's awful. Not worth it. How many swords were there? Jesus. Oh! Why are there gold ingots in the frick? Thank God, okay. I think we're free of the- Ugh! I just emptied this! What the hell? Am I free? God, that was hell. What do you have so many swords? They're the best weapon in the game. Make a sword filter? There is a sword filter! I just deleted it for now while I was rebuilding and then I accidentally left the sorter on. Oh, right, right. Lickles, Lickles sent me a package and said it would be funny if you opened it on stream. I hope this is from Lickle. It says from Anonymous Store. <clears throat> is it supposed to feel like a piece of clothing? Yeah? <laughs> Eat, sleep, mine, repeat. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna put this bad boy on. I I'm sorry, small merch. You'll I'll wear you tomorrow. This is my mom's merch. Give me a sec. I just gotta take my shirt off. Don't look. Nobody look, okay? <clears throat> it's w oh my god. Is this an extra large? What size is this? Oh my god, it's an extra large. It is a tent. This is... 
Why is this an extra large? I am a medium. <laughs> it's like wearing a blanket. It was unisex, so I thought it would be smaller. No, I'm medium unisex. Well, I'm wearing a blanket now. You are large? No, I wear medium. Just wash it a couple times. We'll see. It doesn't look too big. It feels like wearing... A, it's like... Like, I could... I could put a sleeping bag in here, and it's a tent. I appreciate it, Lickle. Thank you for the lovely gift. This has been my life recently, I... Will admit. Uh. Okay. Why did you change out of your Smom hoodie? Uh, oh no, mom. Hey, mom. Like, um, no reason. I'm just, I just got a, I got another shirt, too. Might as well double as pajamas? Yo, you smart. So yeah, so now, uh, for this to work as the overflow, I have to... Uh. Just give me a sec. Did I just... How did it suck up two stacks? Okay. Okay. Okay, the overflow is empty. This is good. Because this is the overflow, basically, whenever one of them, any of the chests gets full, it gets sent to a dispenser where it just nukes it into the void. I think we'll need slightly more dispensers, though, so it doesn't get backed up. We'll probably need, like, three dispensers on, like, a clock that turns on. Start making a beat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, this can just go straight down, I believe. Boop. Ooh, I'm gonna... Disassemble this temporarily. Okay, so I'm gonna have to have them run into a line of Droppers because we got to make this like Maintenance proof. I don't want to ever have to change this once it's done That's kind of the idea with this design that I'm working on right now We don't want to change it once I'm finished. So this will feed into a central hopper right here. So that one's gonna go here, that one's gonna go here, that one's gonna go here. And then, um... As long as it's able to empty full two hopper speed. <clears throat> Use a comparator for redstone and a lever for disposal. That works? Okay. Is that the fastest clock? Rather than two comparators? Because that's really easy to implement. Is it not? Okay, yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go BAM Just make a dispenser facing down launches them into lava. We actually don't even need to do that because Oh my god, there's just so many freaking swords uh, Yeah, this one feeds in here And the overflow the overflow might not have enough output if if it gets completely backed up, all of the chests are full. Uh... I may need to have two separate lines. I'm gonna have one for rotten flesh and one for everything else, I think. Yeah, we're gonna have two separate lines. 
think that would be advisable. Okay. Boom. And then... Do you have the dripstone thing already? Oh, we had the dripstone a while ago. And yeah, then these will simply feed into... Um, two, uh, two droppers, basically. That shoot items directly downwards into the void. <laughs> Uh, but I'm gonna have them only turn on when there is actual overflow. So we're gonna have to add a little sensor that uh, turns them on for overflow. I'm not sure what that's gonna look like just yet, but I will be adding them. Can you input every overflow into a separate dropper? Yes. Do we need to, though? I could. You know what? Yeah. It, it wouldn't be that hard to implement, and it would basically guarantee that... Well, it's so hard, because if... This might not even be enough for an overflow. We may need a buffer chest with the overflow. So let's add a buffer chest with all the overflows, and I think that'll be safe. If we had a buffer chest with the overflows, there's probably no shot that it ever gets backed up. Okay, but yeah, these are the overflows, and then they're just going to feed into droppers that shoot straight down. Da -da 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 -da. Have you completed Arceus? I have, yes. And then that just shoots them directly into the void, which will work great. Let's go, Roman. Thanks for the five months. I appreciate it. Yeah, and then these feed into these. And now we just need, like, an automated system to detect when there's items in them. And then when there is items in them, they just freaking spits them out into the void. This is a piglin trading facility. This is still technically the gold farm sorting area, but it's also the piglin trading facility. This is going to be, like, the the... The gold part that feeds into the tr piglin trading facility, basically. Uh, from this chest, we're gonna have, like, a pipe that leads into the piglin trading facility. It's not done yet, though. Yeah, we're gonna have to empty all these to reorganize for sure. Um, but yeah, these three are now, um... These three rotten flesh, these three are nuggets, these three are ingots, because ingots are significantly rarer. We have it now, the stuff will flow into the droppers first. It sucks before it pulls, right? I'm pretty sure, no. If I, let's say I put items into here. I'm just gonna put a stack of... Let's just grab one of these. I'm pretty sure, no. I don't think that's the case. Nothing is going into, wait, what? But you guys said it, it sucks before it... But you guys said it sucks before it does the... Why did it do that? I'm pretty sure you're the one that says that. No! Will you be playing with hide and seek tomorrow? I'm not exactly sure. Because, yeah, what's going to happen is this feeds into here. Because it sucks. And then this will suck out of that. Hoppers will always pull down before they pull across. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, there's a good chance Crafty will be there. If you overflow one hopper with multiple hoppers, a hopper that sucks won't suck fast enough? Oh, that's true. Yeah, it definitely won't suck fast enough. We'll have to have... Yeah. Um... Hmm. 
Why is this taking out two at a time? That's not normal, is it? And yeah, half of them made it here. Pro Gamer, thank you for the subs. I guess I could just lock the hopper. I guess I could... L I could lock the hopper they feed into. The downward hopper is pushing and sucking. Oh, really? I didn't know that's how it worked. Hoppers are so weird. So if I do this, nothing should end up in here. Ah, okay. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. And yeah, if I put, um, you know, 64 into this one, It'll probably suck this out, and it'll suck this out, and this one will will get stuff in it. Hmm. Okay, so this one pushes and sucks, but I I do. Hmm. This is so tricky. They're symmetrical. Huh. I guess what we could do, here's an idea, is just like... Have... Hmm. Huh. Buffer chests. What could we do? We need, we definitely need, like, uh, if there are ever items backed up into this that's, like, at a certain level, or if there's ever items back up to a certain level in, like, these hoppers, it shuts these hoppers off and, like, you feed it somewhere else. The thing is, it needs to feed it at, like, max speed, because what's gonna happen here is, um... I do need to take this off really quick. I think we're gonna feed this out, and then we're gonna have it go down a little bit to here. Um, these are gonna feed slightly lower, so the overflow needs to be at this level. This is a tough section. Lot, lots of things to think about and consider for, like, different situations. Because what happens if, you know, both parts... Ow. What happens if the... What happens if both sides are feeding in exclusively rotten flesh for a while? Hmm... Why don't you just use item filters? I, you, uh, you have do 
I was gonna stop reading stupid questions. Um... So, those are the item filters. This is the storage system, but what happens if the storage system gets full? And the items start getting backed up. That is the solution we're trying to find right now. We're trying to figure out a solution for when the chests get full. How can we nuke all of the items at the speed at which the chests are getting filled? <sighs> that is what we are doing at the moment. Drop the overflow into lava. Bro. Why? Look at the impulsive item sorter. We already have the items... Mm. You know what? <laughs> I need to just ignore you. Okay. You can make a dropper per chest? No. I don't think I can. That's what I'm trying to figure out, though. Because here's the thing. If we have a dropper for every chest, right? L let's say we do that. Let's say we make a dropper for every single chest. That means we won't need a chest buffer. I think. Ow. So, if we have a dropper for every chest... How are we going to feed every chest then, right? Because there are three input chests for flesh. Like, this is a flesh chest. This is a flesh chest. This is a flesh chest. But there's only two inputs. So the inputs have to run, basically, one of the flesh is going to run into here and then potentially run into the middle. Run into here and then into the middle once that's overflowed. But then... How do you detect when the middle chest is overflowed for the ones that are coming in on the sides? Can you max clock speed a dropper fire? No, because we might have two full hoppers feeding in. A solution would be ice instead of hoppers. What? Comparators. Yeah, just... But how do you align the comparators? And how do you have the toppers running? Jesus Christ. You know, obviously, we're going to use comparators. That's not really a solution. That's just being like, well, how do you win a foot race? Ah, you just run faster than everybody else. It's not helpful. Um... So if we're getting rotten flesh, it could get overflowed here. I go back, because this is... The, it has to empty out on this level. We have to detect on this level when it is full. And then once it's full, we have to turn it on. We have to have multiple. Okay, I have a solution. I have a fix. Okay, I, fi I figured it out. I figured it out. We're good. Don't worry about it. We're good. Problem solved. Just trust me, my brain is much bigger than everyone's. So I figured out a solution. The over We're going to have an overflow for each individual line. Um, on each side. And it's just gonna detect once one of the lines has more than, like, s uh, some amount of material in it. Your humility isn't big, though. <laughs> I, I said it ironically because it took me, like, 30 minutes to think of a solution. Yeah, it was obviously untrue, and that's what's made it funny. I hope.
Okay, so here's what we do. Boom, 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 bam. Right? So we'll feed it here. But I'm going to detect, like, maybe right here where they, like, branch off. If this one has more than, like, three items in it, it feeds into an alternate container and it just destroys all of the items. Like, it feeds into an alternate line that just destroys all the items. I think that is the best solution. So, yeah. But I think this will work well. It'll feed into the chests. They... They will fill up the chest, but if any of the chests get full, then it's... Good, yeah. How much iron do you think this is? It's too much. We blocks and blocks and blocks of iron. So yeah, we don't need this thing on the back anymore. Our storage system is completely disconnected from the overflow. Uh, we can just do this now. This. And this. I will need to change... What this is connected to, which is fine. Do, 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 do. Good. Um, I will also need to connect the pure ingots to the pure ingots. So we'll have to disconnect that line as well. This is this is going well. Okay, we're figuring this out. This is taking a little bit, but. Hoppers prioritize pulling over pushing. Yes. Bro, we I'm so excited to have the garbage system just nuke these swords. It's going to feel so good. I hate these swords. Worst part of the gold farm. How many people tell you to smelt swords? It's not the swords themselves. It's just how many people tell you to smelt them. Do do do. Do, do, do. Okay, so now we're going to have a line that feeds into this. Um, so we have flesh and then nuggets. Uh, we have to disassemble this. We will be moving the, the piglins uh, to a, a probably a slightly better location. Because this is where all the chests are going to go for where the piglins are going to be putting their items. Can someone do the math of the exact breakdown of how much chest space each item is going to take? Could someone do that for me? Just so we know how many chests the piglin side will need. Or like the proportions at least. Is anyone able to do the math for that? Where it's like, okay, for every one chest of arrows. Like here, look. Like for every one chest of nether brick, you'll need... X chests of soul sand, X chests of blackstone, leather, spectral arrow, fire charges, gravel, obsidian, string, nether quartz, ender pearls, iron nuggets, and crying obsidian. But also keep in mind that ender pearls only stack to 16, um, and fire resistance potions don't stack at all and we're gonna chuck out the spectral air or that we're gonna chuck out the water bottles and enchanted books just one chest for each you're too dumb for this okay I'll figure it out I got it don't worry I'll, I'll just figure it out the math isn't that bad I just I just didn't feel like doing it myself Okay, so this will connect quite nicely here. We're out of hoppers. Wow, I, I thought we'd have enough. Um, but I guess the other side is taking a little bit. But yeah. And yeah, here's the reason why we have like a little step down. Is because I knew these hoppers would be going across the top like that. Oh, wait. We might need to actually make the stairs a little bit further forwards as well. Because, well... Yeah, I think we might bunk our head on it. What do we do? If, will I bonk my head on... Uh, I mean, it'll be fine. It won't feel great. 
but it'll be fine. I think it looks very industrial, and I like it. How, like, kind of, just how many hoppers there are. I got stun locked by the, the sorting system. <clears throat> Alright, um, I'm gonna go make some hoppers really quick. Should only take a few seconds. Do you still have the iron? Yeah, little conveyor belts, exactly. Like, we could have ice, but I don't really feel like getting ice. Um, hoppers... 23. Okay, let's hope that's enough. Are you able to view how many stats on hoppers you've made? Uh. Uh. Why is this not in alphabetical order? Jesus. Here we go. Times crafted. We've crafted 710 hoppers so far. What is the thing we've used the most of? We have crafted 20,000 dark oak planks. We've crafted... We've crafted 15,000 iron ingots? How have we... What? Since when? I think a lot of our iron went to the cobble farm. I guess, yeah. I guess I made iron blocks and then just turned them back. Which is interesting. Alright. Yeah, we need one more that feeds into this. And... This one actually could be higher. Because it doesn't split at all. There's no way it'll ever overflow. Yeah, this one actually doesn't matter. I might have it actually combine earlier on to save on hoppers as well. I can't wait to have the trash system for the sword set up. Like... I could literally just run these together. I don't think... I don't think we need to have it at a different elevation. We're never going to have enough gold ingots flowing in there that it causes any problems. Like, ever. Okay. This is... Mo M Minecraft is just straight up modern art. Yeah, agree. Big agree. Yo, they're just... They're Dustin. Thanks to the tier one. I'm pretty sure we have, like, 20 hoppers in here somewhere. Somewhere. There's three. There's two. There's one. Okay, six is not quite 20, but it's it's kind of close. Alright, yeah, and then, yeah, that sorting system is done. We just need to make the, the overflow trash, which is... Uh, not bad at all. It's just like... Ed Comparators... Uh... Probably... Here we'd add a Comparator. Maybe right here we'd add a Comparator. Right here. And then maybe... Here and there. For like a trash system. There's a hopper on the ground, dude. Where? Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, we'd still need to make more chests, which is unfortunate. This is why we need, like, an auto wood farm ASAP, so we don't have to do this chest, or do wood chopping garbage ever again. I was thinking about it. Is there a way to make a fully automatic, um, azalea farm? Like, is there a way to auto plant azalea sampling things? Or, like, to make sure they're produced? 
because that would be nice. Because it could also produce moss. Right? Anyways, this piping system is all done. So, what we're going to have now is... Um, this feeds... It's less efficient than semi-AFK. I just don't want to have to worry about clicking on stuff. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah, so then the swords will go into this, and then whenever this actually has any signal at all, we're just going to have it nuke all of the items in it, which it's literally just swords. So, comparator. Um, Oh, you need it to be a stronger signal, don't you? Yeah, <sighs> that would work though, right? How do we... Use a repeater after the comparator? That would make it delayed though, and it wouldn't be at hopper speed anymore, would it? Does this ever go to two? No, that'll work perfect. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Use two observers. Nah, this turns on automatically. Whenever it needs to. Perfect. Uh, I do think I'm going to have it run out the back instead, though. Because I will probably use this space for other stuff. Dum, boom, boom. Uh huh. Okay, so yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Nope. Let's try that one more time. Bam, bam! One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if I need to make this unspawnable. I'm gonna try it one more time just to just to be sure because I do need to build this little simple mechanism a few in a few places uh, I need to add a wall here I think so it can't run into those hoppers okay that looks good to me a nice, simple system that basically acts as a chuck it in the garbage for the overflow. Um, I'm going to keep these little stairs here because they're nice. Nothing can spawn. All right. Let's add that to the other side. The constant dropper sounds? Well, no, there's not going to be constant dropper sounds because once it's empty, it stops playing. So we don't have to worry about it. I don't know if what you have is fast enough. No, I literally checked. Here, look, look. Uh, 18. If it's not fast enough, then we'll see the number 2 in here. Because they're starting to accumulate. We never saw the number 2. So that means they were never able to accumulate, and it's at the perfect speed. It runs at the perfect speed it needs to. Which 
is great. <clears throat> so yeah, let's build this on the other side. Just want to say hi. Huge fan on YouTube here to say, yo, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the stream. I'm building Minecraft. Just all of Minecraft. It's amazing. The whole Minecraft. I hope you like Minecraft. This is this is so much off of my back. Those damn golden swords despise them. No one likes them. I'm not smelting these gold swords. I refuse. I refuse to smell the gold swords. How far out does this stick? Is it just this block right here? That is the, the yeet down block. Bam. I think it was literally just that. And then we go... Zoop. Bam. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. That doesn't seem... Is that right? Yeah, I guess so. And I go... Huh, huh, okay. Has he fallen off yet? No. Just because I haven't uploaded a video in a few days doesn't mean I've fallen off. <laughs> Hello? Why? Did I do something? Wait, why is this not working? It's too full? That part works. Um, just gotta delete this platform now. The sword's clogged. It. Yeah, that will never happen, I don't think. We're like swords clogging that becoming an issue, I think. Because, yeah, it just didn't have the pulse yet. It's because the comparator was at full strength, I think. It's because the comparator was at full strength. And so when it was comparing to itself, it was like, ah, oh, I don't need to turn off. Signal's the same, or whatever. I don't know how comparators work. <laughs> da, 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 da. Destroy! Get destroyed! Die! Thank you. Make lava pools for the swords? Nah, they get yeeted into the void. I think that'll be fine. It works once, that a, once it has a pulse. I think that's most things. You're going to be trading with piglins? Kind of-ish. I could... So here's the problem with this. Um, I can't actually put them into lava. Um, because everything is built out of wood. So... I guess I could just dispense them onto a cactus. We could do that. But I think it's more aesthetic to dump things into the void. You can smelt them. No, you can't. They remove that. They, they remove that part. It's not, not possible. What? Yeah. Yeah, they, they just realized how... What of a stupid idea that was, and so they removed it. Like, man, I really regret adding that feature to Minecraft. Let's get rid of it. Okay. That's how the conversation went. I was there. Trust me, I, I 
Notch gave me 40,000 bits once. I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Why are you guys freaking out? That was on purpose, clearly. Jeez. <clears throat> um, okay, so yeah, now we have our, our sorting system for the items. This is so extra. We literally could have had the sorting system, like, right there on the opposite side. And we would have needed a half of the pipes. I'm realizing that now. But it's more impressive when we walk out of the portal and we see this massive structure. So, whatever. <laughs> oh, below the dropper. It's worth the extra, like, ooh, any hoppers. Yeah, we will need to make sure there is void wherever these things are. You have bees? We did, but then they flew into the void and killed themselves. Uh, which was rather sad. Uh, I'm gonna move these stairs over eventually, just so it's symmetrical. But for now, um... So, the storage system is working. Uh, we need to build a system that is similar in nature to what we just did over on the sides there. Similar, but not quite the same. It is just a simple overflow system. Um, I believe what I can do... Okay, very cool. Um... Just so nothing can ever get jammed up. If we do something like this... I believe by putting this many blocks in here, nothing will ever get there until this is full. But once this is full, if there is an item in here, it will, um... Yeah. That'll work. Then it can just dispense off the side like that. And that's one line, and we'll have to do that to that line as well. And that line will do what we're doing here, but right there. Yeah. Here's the math on the bartering. For every pearl chest, you would need 15 blackstone and gravel chests, 12 arrow chests, 8 nugget chests, 7 brick chests, 7 soul sand chests, 6 quartz chests, 4 string, and four string chests, four leather chests, three crying obsidian chests, two fire charge chests, and one obby chest. Okay. Um. One chest for everything. Got it. No, I appreciate it. I'll take that into consideration. We probably won't go that much because we're going to be emptying out probably the nether brick chest pretty often. We'll see. Hmm. Okay. You still making the zombie piglin farm? Oh, that's all done. It works great. We have blocks and blocks and blocks of gold. Right now, what we're doing is we're just sorting out the, well, sorting system and then the piglin trading facility we need to uh, build. <clears throat> yeah, this isn't done yet. We still need to fill these with the dummy items. So let's do that. Let's just go grab more kelp really quick. Because I don't have any on me and that's what I use for the other side. I think we're good on the ratios for now. Yeah, I don't need to be ratioed anymore. Big agree with that one. Okay. 
good. It is a lot of swords, yeah. Okay. Where? Here it is. So what we need to do is go... Bam. Bam. And... Bam. Uh, the close one, this is ingots. We need to put 17 ingots in there. Can you give a quick overworld tour? Yes, just to give me... A minute or two to uh, to do that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, eight, seventy. Okay, so that should filter out that, um, and we just need it in that order, but reverse. So this needs seventeen um, nuggets. Four, fifteen, sixteen, seven. Yeah, that one feeds through good, and we need just seventeen rotten flesh here. Why 17? Uh, once it hits 18, the signal strength goes down here, which powers this, which powers the repeater, which turns off the torch, which allows the bottom to suck through. And allows it to funnel it into the main chests. Yeah. This used to be the old nugget chest. We'll fix that later. You're saving rotten flesh? Yeah, you'll see why. You will see why in just a minute. Uh, but we're gonna build the disposal system really quick here on, out the back. According to a chatter. Perfect. Thank you for saving that. Uh, we need a dropper. I think what I can do for the dropper to place it is I can stand here and just... Nope. Rotten Flesh went to 16. Did it? Oh, yeah. That's why. Bam. Accidentally put three in there. How'd that happen? Alright. Good. Um... Alright, I'm gonna have to build down a little bit. Good. Okay. So from here, I believe we just build the same small mechanism where, you know, if it self detects that there is anything inside of it, it will destroy it as quickly as possible. Yeah. Yeah, this will work great. And we'll just do that. I can play this on piano. Or probably not anymore. I probably forgot it by now. But I could. I was able to. You're scared of falling? Me too, Mom. I never want to fall off. Good. So yeah, so now this one, whenever it detects it has an item in the overflow, it, it chucks it into the void. And we just need to build that three or two more times here. And then three times on that side. And then the storage system is fully complete. And we will never need to touch it again. Because even if, you know, I leave it running for a week and everything is overflowing and we have too much stuff, it'll still work. Which... I do say it is quite fantastic. Pretty sure the chat was full of shit. Here's the one that people have agreed on. Oh my, someone made a spreadsheet? Oh my god. Let's go. I love spreadsheets! Okay. Bam bam. Okay. And then this one. Bam. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's sorry about that. That's okay. 
I'm not sure who's, who's, who's wrong, but apparently at least one person's was. Oh, I don't need that anymore. I think I might put stairs there. Maybe upside down stairs. Oh, yeah. Uh, an item that wasn't supposed to be in there went through and it just nuked it, which is fantastic. Don't forget to flip the comparators. We don't need to flip them, I don't think. And what was I grabbing? More wood. Spruce? Yo, spruce slabs, spruce stairs, good. May need to chop down a few spruce trees. I think the farm that we should probably make today... I have no idea how to make them, but I, we should probably make like a... Like a spruce tree farm. It, it would be worth it, I think. I need another repeater. Do I? Okay. How about two? Alert! Redstone was here. What's gonna be the next YouTube vid? I have no idea. There's so many in the backlog right now that are, like, done. I just need to review them. Um, I'm not sure which one is coming out next. Probably a Pokemon one. Then maybe that Mario, the hardest Mario challenge one. Then maybe Minecraft with Mom. Where, uh, my mom and I shared a health bar in Minecraft. Oh, speaking of that, the editor contest, uh, I did look through all the submissions. Um, and I don't exactly know how to handle that. Because uh, uh, there's an interesting situation that has happened. Um, because, yeah, this weekend, you still didn't post Minecraft with Mom? Oh, god damn it. All right, we're just going to chuck all this out. But I don't want to chuck out the chest. Uh, so, there was one person that was significantly better than everyone else's submission. Um, the thing is, they already edit for me. They just have only done tag videos. And they were like, yo, if this is better, can I edit more types of videos? And I was like, okay. And yeah, it was way better than everyone else's. I'm sorry, but it was significantly better. But the thing is, they already edit for me. So I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to pick him and then the next best person. And you'll both get the prize money for the contest. I think that's the most fair. <laughs> is, is that... I think that's reasonable, right? Yeah, there were definitely some good submissions, but yeah, his 100% stood out. But I mean, it makes sense. He knows exactly what I want because he's he has edited other videos before. You know what? Might as well just fill in this just so I have a nice walkable platform back here. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Okay. So there is our overflow safety. Uh, we will need to destroy the back side of this. And I think I might fill in this back wall just so I know nothing can fall back here. I think that would be good. But yeah, that is, um... Can stuff spawn on this? Wait, I guess I could just go spawnable true-false, right? Because they're... Is there like a spawnable thing? At all? I don't know if the stuff can spawn on these. Maybe I'll just do it just to be safe. I don't think they can. It's not a thing. These things can't spawn on these? Okay. Because I'm pretty sure redstone components, people can't... I'm pretty sure with redstone components, mobs cannot spawn on them. I could just add lighting? That's true. We could just add lighting. Never on redstone, but like redstone components. They can't spawn there? Alright, well just, just to be safe, I'll do this. 
just to be safe. You never know. Anything can happen. Okay, something that I wanted to do here as well. I think... Does that look good at all? It really doesn't, does it? No, it doesn't. I was hoping that would look better. Um... Yeah, no, that looks awful. Alright. I'll probably just have it like that then. <laughs> just have the, the smooth transition. Okay. So. Uh, we do need the overflow for these now. These ones are going to be a little bit different. Because um, the overflow is going to back up here. We're actually only going to need two overflows for this side because that one already has an overflow for the ingots. There's no way the ingots will ever get overflowed, but it's like it's like a just in just in case, you know. You never know anything can happen. Um, now something I need to test. If I feed in blocks here, will that get anything? No. Good. Okay. So this can be the overflow. Um, I think the overflow needs to run to... Oh, man. that That's tricky because... That's where the chests for the, the piglin trading thing will go. That's the piglin trading facility area. Yeah. Because there's our, there's our 24 clints. Um, how do I run this? I'll probably run it out that way and just have them dump out the front. Or... Your second meat filter is going into the ingot chest. That's true, it's in the wrong order. It should be... It should be, uh, meat... Yeah, you're right. Wow, that is disgusting. I should swap them around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sixteen. Seventeen. Good. And then uh Ah. Uh, Seventeen. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's feeding into the right stuff now. Okay, so. Dang, there's a lot of hoppers. Yeah, we don't really have easy access to ice yet. Ice would work, but we just don't have a lot. We will need to get some ice for these guys, because we're going to have to have multiple hoppers except it. We might make an ice farm before we do finish the piglin trading facility. But I think I'm going to start the piglin trading facility, just build the whole structure of it, and then just add the ice at the end. Because I, I want to see what the whole structure overall looks like. But I think what we're going to do most likely with the piglin trading facility, uh, something that'll probably work the best, is I'm going to move the piglins right here. So I can basically have this chest just directly shoot gold into their veins, just directly inject it. Um, and then they'll they'll push the items up, across, and then across a sorting system that feeds into these chests. <clears throat> That's uh, probably what we're gonna do, and that'll that'll be sort of the most compact and easiest. Took a test and got ninety seven percent. Let's go. It's exciting. It's a good start. Um, okay, yeah. But if we're going to do that, where they funnel across like here, if they're going over top, then if we have the... Um, if we have the overflow going in this direction, I think that'll be fine. So, I'm going to run the overflow in this direction. And it's not going to run too far, it's going to go like here and then straight down this is so here's the overflow 
No. Uh, wait. This is gonna want to suck first, won't it? Ooh. This will this will nuke all of the ingots that come out from there. Power that with a redstone torch. But then how do we? Because hmm. I can't have it go lower because we can't just have this go in multiple directions. We don't have any room for that. This is now a little bit trickier. Hmm. We might just have to... We might have to put a dropper just right here. Which is interesting. Um, and then maybe some ice in front of it, and it uh, that it slides into the void, I guess. Because we're also gonna need to do that here, uh, which adds a whole nother problem because it's gonna be running across this. Uh, yikes. Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's just have it shoot into a cactus. It still does need to detect stuff, though. So how do we detect and activate this one without affecting the other things nearby? That is the next question. So we need to not lock that hopper. Well, actually, you know what? That doesn't matter, even. We can totally lock that hopper. If there's an item in here, that hopper is already full, so it doesn't even matter if it gets locked. So what I can do is have this on the side. We can go... Bam. Nope. We can go here. Here. Um... I do need more redstone. Because, yeah, if this ever gets items in it, then these are fine to be locked because they're filled with items anyways. And then this will just yeet stuff into the void. What are you doing? We're currently building the Piglin Trading Facility. I will, like I said, I will need to move those stairs forward, but that's fine. Yeah. A uh, little bit more redstone. We're gonna have to power this somehow, but also... Uh, does this work? I don't want to power the hoppers. So let's go get a little bit more redstone really quick. Um... Give me a sec. I need to dump my inventory for no reason. You'll see in a second why. Uh, bam, bam. Cool. Run redstone in front of the dropper. Would that work? I think it has to run above it. We'll see. Yeah, we just need more redstone. Do you like Hollow Knight or Celeste more? Um, I preferred Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is more content. Take one of my offhand. Oh, that would have been smart. Could have got one more stack. We're coming up on four days. Yes, we are. So the reason why I'm keeping the Rotten Flesh is because of this. We basically can convert it into... Uh, 
directly into emeralds. Uh, but I need I came here for redstone. Good. Okay. the only way to get redstone we could make a uh, uh, witch farm we could get a witch farm okay can you do automatic cleric trades with zombie flesh you can't do automatic no just seeing your level now yeah it's 489 I'm waiting for them to refill restock it's the start of the day so they should restock within a few minutes by a few minutes it's, I mean it's already been a few minutes so it'll be any second now Any plans to purify zombie villagers? Oh, honey, we've already done that. We have already done that many, many times. Not with this one. We have done that. That's actually what um, what this back area is for. And that is what uh, Bobbert is here for. We press the Bob button and Bobbert says hello. And then, yeah, looks like we did that one recently. You guys restock yet? Perfect. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Redstone. Bam. Bam. Okay. Alright, there we go. Two stacks of redstone. Almost three. Uh, put emeralds in the chest. Nice. You can purify zombie villagers? Yeah, the only potion we can make is, um, the only potion that we're able to make is a weakness potion. All of the other ones we have to attain from other stuff. Speaking of, um, I want to add an objective to phase four that I think would be very fitting for phase four. So I'm going to go into taking Skyblock to its limits. If you don't know, we have a little thing here. Um... That's the wrong screen. I really don't know why it always does that screen. But yeah, right now, I'm going to add something onto Phase 4. Because we're kind of in between uh, Phase 2 and Phase 3. I kind of jumped ahead a little bit because I didn't want to do the Piglin Trading Facility until I was on the Good Gold Farm. Um, and we're waiting. To the, the Jungle Biome will be able to find bamboo by fishing. Uh, so we'll be able to make an automatic, um, like, smooth stone farm or, like, a smelting array. But I think phase four goals... I'm just gonna insert one below. How do... Can I insert one below? Okay, that's not how to spell. We're gonna do every possible advancement in phase four. As well. I'll fix the formatting later. Because I thought about it, and there are some really cool advancements that we could do. What does that mean? We're going to do every advancement that we possibly could. Can you get a shulker? No. I'm fairly sure you could get the all potion effects advancement, which is the main reason why I want to do it. <laughs> we'll go to every biome. I forgot about that one. But yeah, we will go to every biome. What will... We'll, uh, that one. Gonna need levitation? No, every possible advancement. We literally can't get levitation. The five kill crossbow shot is actually one of the easiest ones. But yeah, like, the big one that would be cool is every potion effect at once. Because you guys might not know how to get that, but I, I have a way that we could do that for sure. Even make it, like, here, let's, let's see. Um, advancements. 
Have every potion effect applied at the same time? I'm pretty sure we can do that one. Um, I mean, that one we could do. We'll never have that one. We'll be able to do this one and that one. We could do that right now, if we really wanted to. Um, husbandry. Tame all cat variants. Oh, that might not be fun. Make We could do that right now. That one would be painful, but we could do that. We could do that. We could do that one. Like, there's a lot of good goals. That one is not possible. That one is not possible. That one might be? That one isn't. That one isn't. That one you have to find the stronghold. That one might be doable, but it wouldn't give you the like it wouldn't you wouldn't be able to go to the end, obviously. But like, there's a lot of really cool ones. Like, wait, what trade with a villager at the build height limit? Why is that an advancement? But yeah, like a lot of these we could definitely do. I don't think that's possible because we can't get the uh, thing. Can't do these. There's a lot that we can do. Can never do that. We can do that one. Yeah, but there's there's a lot of cool advances we can do. Uh, that I'm excited to try. The potion one I'm most excited for because it seems like it's impossible at first glance. When in reality, it is just barely doable. And it'll be painful but kind of fun. How am I going to do it? Well, um, Fletcher Villagers at a master level can give you, uh, tipped arrows. So what you would do is you'd get a Fletcher, you'd get 16 unique Fletcher Villagers. And, um, you'd get one with each type of potion effect on the arrow and you'd shoot yourself with 16 arrows. <laughs> To get all the potion effects. Could you skip some of the effects with Suspicious Sue? Yes, we could, probably. But we need to find flowers. Can, how do you get mining fatigue? That's not a potion effect. You're thinking of, um... How did we get here? Whereas I... Oh, god damn it. I need to keep that. Whereas I am thinking of just all potion effect. I'm thinking of Furious Cocktail. It is impossible to get how did we get here in this. But all potion effects? Can you get levitation from a stew? Dude, I wish. AA would be like 20 minutes faster if you could do that. Suspicious 2 from Farmer Villagers? I could just make Suspicious 2. It's not that hard. Um. Okay. What do we even... Right, we needed more redstone. Okay, that doesn't work. Does this work? No, it doesn't. Uh, I'll try one thing. I'm gonna grab a target block and see if that works. Can't on glass. I was hoping it would work, but... Breed all animals should be possible. Uh, breed all animals is not possible. No, we cannot breed a hoglins. Because it's impossible to get Crimson Root, or whatever it's called, the Crimson stuff. <laughs> Every biome will be a pain in the ass. I agree. Don't they just need the biome? You need to feed them Crimson... ...mushrooms. And it's impossible to get those without, uh... Nylea, or whatever it's called. Yeah, that works. Um, kind of. Ish. Well, that won't... If I just have this... I could have this go up here. Why don't I just do this? Oh, I can't, because there's a freaking... Ugh! It's in the way.
Are you gonna see your friends? We might. I guess we could have this run down. That would power that, right? If I have it run into this block, that would power that one. Which we... Well, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, if that one's powered, then that means it's full and it... Okay, yeah, yeah, that'll work. We have found a solution. Something to solve all of our problems. Because if this one ever has items, or if this one... If this is on and this has items in it, that's totally fine. Because it's kind of the way it's supposed to work. Yeah, that'll just chuck it into the void. Good! Are you gonna do a furious cocktail? That's literally impossible. I said all possible. Advancements. You need, um... Uh, what do you need? You need... Mining fatigue, which we cannot get. And levitation, which we also cannot get. You build yeet machine? Yeah, it's the overflow yeet machine. That is the official term, by the way. The overflow yeet machine. Furious cock- Oh yeah, wait. How did we get here? You're right, never mind. Yeah, furious cocktail is the one that's possible. Uh, how do we get here is not. Yeah, yeah, that, there we go. How the hell do I- I guess I have to pipe it out that way. Yeah. But that just feeds into... I think I might need to... How the hell am I gonna do this? <laughs> There's just, there's so many, um, things that are close by. Because the overflow has to go here. And we can't suck out of that one. A buffer chest. Yo! Yes! Actually, you know what? You know what? You are so smart. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. We needed that for the other one. That'll that'll clean up the other one as well. Uh, I'm just gonna do a buffer barrel. I think a buffer barrel is a little more industrial. Or No, we don't even need a buffer barrel. We can have a buffer of anything. We could, we could make it a dropper. For a buffer. Right? A, we, the only thing we couldn't do was a buffer hopper. A buffer barrel looks cool. Yeah? Um... What do I not need? I don't need the arrows right now. Yeah, this will this will clean it up significantly. I didn't even think of using a buffer. Whew. Okay. You guys think a buffer barrel looks better? That'll work. Buffer barrel. Clint's are angry. Yeah. Furious. And then we can just go. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, that'll work. Because, yeah, we got half of them back. That works well. I know some of them went through, but that's cause, just because there was a ton of items in there. You don't know shit about redstone? Yeah, me neither. Don't worry. Okay, then we can add... 
you know, a dropper, wherever. I think this is a good spot. We're not going to really have storage here. We can have it go. Um, you know, if we're going to extend this out that way, I should have it on this side. Um, and I should have this dispense straight down. That would work best. Okay. An observer clock? Nah, we don't need an observer clock. We'll be fine with just a regular old... With the, with the comparator and stuff. It's really consistent. It'll get the job done. And yeah, all I need to do is move the stairs over, which isn't an issue. Yeah. So now whenever there's items in it, it'll empty as fast as the hopper can put them in. Perfect speed. We know it works great. How do you get the original 118 skyblock map? Uh, once I fix the terrain generation issue, I'll release it on Discord. It'll just be on, on the, like, the mod downloads on Discord, so. If you want to wait, like, a few days, uh, it'll be there. Because I think at sign is working on a, a, just a fix for the terrain generation stuff. Because right now, we can only go in, like, a certain range. The reason why we haven't done jungle yet is because we literally can't get to a jungle. Because anything past 2,000 blocks is unavailable, and the only jungle is 2,700 blocks away. Same with warm ocean for coral. Will it work on bedrock? No, it'll be for Java. Apologies. Hmm... <laughs> Okay, so, how are we gonna run this one? I think we're gonna do the same thing, basically. We're gonna have a buffer barrel. Like so. This feeds into the buffer barrel, and then... We can pipe it from the buffer barrel to... Like... Honestly, it could be right here and it could be mirrored. That would be pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, and that wouldn't take up too much space. It'd look good. I don't think it affects... the, uh... the functionality of anything, and it'll work great. Yeah, that'll dump it into here. We'll just add the nice sensor bits. Um... Oh, actually, that might... Uh... Yeah, that might affect it. We might need to have one more. What does the timer thing say? 90 hours. I'll give you a guess. One guess. If you guess wrong, I'll tell you the right answer. There's nothing on the line. I just want you to guess. Damn it. Do I have another dropper? Want to funnel into the same dropper? Because technically, if they're both running, then... Uh... It might not drop it fast enough, basically. We'd need a faster clock. Because if... Here, you know what? I'll show you why. Um, I will funnel it into it. Time since his last poop. Correct! Alright, check this out. So, I'm just gonna act as if... Have it. This is why we can only use one, or we have to use two droppers. Um, if we could have a faster clock, maybe that would work. I don't think there is a faster clock. There might be? 
Is there a faster clock than that that can detect when, um... I mean, we if, if we can make it work, that would be nice. That could actually work. <clears throat> that seems double speed. All we need is a sticky piston. Because, yeah, all we would need is one comparator into the sticky piston. And it just pushes the comparators together, right? Here. I'm just going to dump uh, a bunch of stuff into this to see if it builds up. Four, five, six, seven. It does still build up. So we need a faster clock than this. Um. Because, yeah, this is, is too slow because it is still... Increasing. So, is there a faster clock than two observers looking at each other? Could we come up with a faster clock? I don't know. Um... Use a comparator with an observer looking at it. Like this. Two droppers. We could do two droppers, but people suggested only using one. That's what you meant. Instead of a repeater, use a... a thing. Hmm. Yeah, wait a minute. Well, that wouldn't... would that change? How would that work? Yeah, that only powers it once. Square three redstone. The hop with the comparator bottom right. Something like that. I guess we could have a clock where it's like once this reaches a certain threshold it starts firing off. We would need a target block. If that works, that could do it. Yeah, and then once, wherever, whenever it reaches this amount, Is that an issue that it drops at random? Because that could be an issue, right? It won't be. Well, let's say... Yeah, you'd have to get really awful luck. Alright, let's test this now. This has to be a target block for sure, though. Because the signal will not be the correct strength. Mm -mm. You can use an observer looking into a block and a lever on top of it. But I don't want to manually have to do it at all. This has to be automated. Unless you mean the, the lever is literally just for power.
All right, let's see. Will this build up when it turns on? Wait, you have a TikTok account? Yeah, I haven't uploaded it on, on it in a minute, though. So it'll turn on in a second or so, and we'll see if it... Is that number going up? 37, 38, does it go to 39? Is that emptying out faster than it fills? I think it was. It was, wasn't it? Pog? You know what's great about that? Um, we could also change all of those so they're slightly more space efficient. They don't stick out as much. Um, should I do that? Or are these fine? I think it's fine, whatever. Okay! Storage system is... completely done now. Uh, if we go to our farm... It should not get backed up anymore, I believe. Worth a test, let's just double check that... everything is good and there's no... crazy messes... Okay, first time watching anyone play Minecraft. Wait, is it actually on right now? Oh, it is on right now. Apparently it was backed up slightly. Oh, is it, is it backed up all the way back? Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, this, this will work. Um, that's exciting, good. So now that we're done the... Completely done that side of the storage system. We can work on the the more important goal for today is the piglin trading facility junk. Because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to relocate all 24 clints. We're going to put them in a slot right here, I think. So I can feed this gold. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna have to empty some of these out because they're wrong still. So we can feed. This is gonna be the gold ingot chest. So we can feed gold ingots directly into them, and then we're just gonna have a nice line of hoppers that collect it and feed it into a uh, a sorting system. So we have like automated storage for all of the useful items that piglins can give us for gold. I'm just going to wait until this is done. It's probably almost there. I would hope. How far back is this jammed up? I got to go check. Why are they named Clint? Someone was just very adamant that they should be named Clint. I don't know why. Wow. How? Does this go all the way? Oh my god. I mean, I guess I did run it until it was... Is it just... It goes all the way back? That's crazy. You don't think the outputs are balanced? No, they weren't balanced. No. Uh, for the... I did AFK for about five hours, but they were only connected to the right side because the left side wasn't built yet. Like, I'm pretty sure this, like, connected here, and so everything behind it got backed up. But, I mean, the sorting system is working. It's dumping all the swords into the void whenever there's a sword. And whenever it's something useful, it goes in here, yeah. Perfect. It's working great. And, uh, yeah, once it's done being backed up. Let's, uh, let's certainly relocate the, the piglins, though. And we're gonna have to figure out an easy way to make sure the items don't slip out. Because even, like, here, let me show you guys. Because for those of you that missed the start... Like, we do have an area for these piglins, right? But, it, um, we do have an issue. Why? 
where some of the items pop out of the side occasionally. Like most of them pop out up top, but some of them pop out of the side, so we're gonna have to figure out a solution for that. <clears throat> Chest is full, man. Do these pigments just have an infinite source of gold? Uh, they will from our gold farm, which has a little bit of gold in it right now. But yeah, maybe like maybe a thicker pillar. I don't know. I think what we'll probably end up doing is have like a, a three by three glass case around them that goes up, and we'll just have like something that pushes them out sideways. Can you put the dispenser under the piglins? That would solve this item's escaping issue. That has that isn't related in any way. All right. But let let's just start by by moving them over and making a little chamber for them. Why not a one by one cell for each clint? Uh, more space efficient and less work to put them all in one but yeah we'll make us let's make a nice uh, containment chamber for them nice glad to see that working containment chamber will be here um and if we're going to be funneling if we're going to be funneling Stuff out of this directly into them. They'll probably have to be slightly lower. Um, so we'll see. I'm one of your favorite streamers. Let's go. And of course, we need more hoppers, <laughs> as usual. So I'll just start by making a few backups here. We can do five. Okay. We'll have an on-off switch for this, obviously, because I don't want this constantly stealing all of my gold. But for now, I'll just leave it on. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll have a switch, maybe even right here, that we can just go bam. And that should... Why did that not lock the hopper? Because that's powering that block and that's... Okay, whatever. <laughs> there. Problem solved. Uh... Yeah, so, I mean, hmm. It still does empty out into this. I should probably turn that one off instead. So, here's what we'll do. I need to go down a little bit. Do I have anything that can go down right now? I actually don't think I can go further down than this at the moment. Giving a tier 3 to Rodericks. Yo, thank you for the gift sub to Rodericks. Thank you. Dardo, happy birthday. It's good to see that that's working. Dumping out all the garbage swords. Oh, and it is starting to get drained. It's exciting to see. Chucking the swords into the void. Uh, I don't have a piston on me. Can I make one? Nope. <laughs> I'm just going to piston some blocks down. We gave up on smelting them. It's just not worth the time. I want it to be automatic and we'd have to manually fill up the stuff with stuff. Just didn't feel like it. The stone chest. It's just not worth the effort. The space program with weapons? Yeah, gotta give them all of our, our brave villagers weapons to fight all the bad guys. Yeah, 
Uh, this will drain out pretty quickly. I think uh, actually it's done. Oh. Okay. Should we go test it really quick to see if it gets backed up at all? The gold farm? Just for a, a brief moment? We could. Here, I will. Just give me one moment to uh, push some... Blah, that's a hole. Okay. Push some blocks down. Here as well. Uh, and then wait, that can that not really? Huh. Guess that makes sense. No. Okay. There now, if it's on. Or now if, yeah, that's off, and then you turn it on, and it'll start feeding gold ingots directly into the veins of the piglins. Because this will feed into like a dropper, right? And we'll have to power the dropper somehow. Um, but I think the best way to do it is probably the dropper's gonna have to be pointing up at them. Uh, because that's the only way that we'll be able to probably consistently have a nice clock going. Yeah, and then we're just gonna do our, our thing with the, um... You know, our, our clocks that we've been making so far with the repeater and comparators. Those have been doing a good job. Where it's just redstone compare... Redstone comparator. Uh huh, uh huh. Running into essentially itself. This one's gonna have to run a little differently. Uh, we will need a target block. I need to turn this off. <laughs> Okay. Good. I will need one target block. And that'll work. Why is chat so slow? I'm bugged. No, it's just that slow right now. It just people have just people aren't talking at the moment. Thank you for pointing it out. Uh I guess Grab more wheat. If you're enjoying watching. Thank you. Appreciate it. Maybe because slow mode. I I guess, but also, it's 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 more chill than anything. Bam, 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 bam. It's it's more. There we go. Okay. So. Have you been? How's your day? I am dead tired. But I want to finish this piglin trading facility. I want to get it done. It's going to be so sick. We're going to have so many resources after it's finished. It's like a big time investment, but 100% worth it. Alright, so. I believe if I put stuff here. It will dispense it at the max rate that it can be filled. Now all we need to do is just... Build around it. Um... And I think I need it to just be too wide. That is the seemingly correct solution based on what I saw, but we'll see. Because, yeah, what was happening was stuff was getting spat out the side somehow. I don't know how, 
The stuff was getting spat out the side. But yeah, this basically will turn on the dropper. That will feed them gold. Because they're going to be standing right here. <clears throat> you have a goal in mind? Like how fast you want to finish? I just want to finish them all. Oh, we're out of blocks. Okay. Uh, this is deep enough that they can wander in here. So let's just make a path for them. Um, I guess they have building blocks that I can use to make a path. Alright, we need to make a path for all of them now so they can't sneak out. But also, so we can get them in that dang hole. Glass blocks for the piglin trading area. I guess we could put them in, like, a glass chamber. <clears throat> it sucks that you can't use water in the nether. That's the tough part, is... Figuring out how to... Send items upwards, but also... Not have them slip out. You could just use lava. True. We could just use lava. But yeah, I'm gonna try and coax them into this hole. I think you can use dispensers. No, I you don't you're talking and you don't know, understand what the problem is. Um that wouldn't work because they're shooting the basically what's happening is the piglins drop items directly into a glass block and we need to have it so that glass block shoots the items straight up once they're straight up we can do whatever we want with them we can put them in hoppers we can do whatever it's just the problem is getting those items straight up consistently <clears throat> that is that is the main issue that we're having how'd you get magma Huh, that's what I thought. I, I just, I crafted it out of uh, magma cream from my farm. Yeah, we could build this out of, uh, out of glass, a, a glass chamber. <clears throat> that would be fine. Probably use solid blocks. Well, it is solid blocks if you put two, I think. Okay. Okay, I think that will get them. Okay, this. Let's just double check that I haven't screwed anything up. They cannot walk into there, correct. They can navigate only to this hole. Can they escape in any way? I don't believe they can. Okay, good. It's time to move the Clints over. Bring them in the overworld? Nah, I want to AFK here and just be able to AFK here and turn it on, you know? Alright. Here we go. Time for the Clints to pop out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. They're getting it. Hey. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that all the Clint's? Not quite. Okay, just taking off the boots for a second. Taking off the boots. Boom. 
Is that all the Clints? Oh, there's a few left over. Hey, guys. The last few Clints. There's 24 Clints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you, Clint. Come here. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'm not wearing gold. Be mad. Be mad. Get in there. Stupid. Okay. So, now we have to solve our problem. What is the problem? You will see in a moment. But I do need to do one thing first. Uh, some people might call it inhumane, but I call it, um... Yeah, it's inhumane. It's just, it's straight up inhumane. Um... gonna some brain surgery <laughs> all right check some notifications pawn tier 2 18 new badge Let's go. Also, uh, Plasma at the 21. I've been missing a bunch today. Because I've been so focused on building the thing. Alright. I am going to feed them some stuff. And I'm going to see if any pop out of the side. We will need to watch very closely, though. Definitely should have built glass here, a little glass chamber around so they can spit out the blocks. But most likely what'll happen is that it should get sent straight up, but there's a chance that the block doesn't. And I need to figure out why that's happening, if it does happen. Um, yeah, we can just turn this on. And it will feed them gold. And then the items should go up, but some of them you can see you're going out the side. Most of them are going up. Some of them are going out of the side. Okay, we can turn it off. Um... Let's try one more thing where we just make the glass even wider. See if that fixes the problem. I think you use droppers to transfer the items upwards. Yeah, but you don't understand what, how am I, I'm supposed to put a hopper inside of a piglin? That, that doesn't work. I don't need glass, let's hope that works. Looks like sometimes it just goes down now, doesn't it? Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't even go up now, which is weird. Hmm. Hmm.
Try using water. Okay, next idea. A dropper chain? How do you propose the droppers pick up the blocks that they drop? We may have to do, and I hate it, the um, diagonal gold method, and then a hopper below them, which I despise, but we might have to do the diagonal gold method. I'm going to try one more thing, though, before we completely remake these and have to move the clints again. Let's hope this doesn't kill them. Okay, they seem chill about that. Screw it. I need to see if gold starts rising up. Do they trade fast enough to deal with one hopper constantly dispensing? Wow. Yeah, I think that worked, right? That worked, yeah? I think that worked. Hog. Okay. Yeah, so now what we're gonna do on top is... Uh, we're gonna have them pop out on a glass block, and then... Uh, or a line of glass. I'm just gonna have it go a little bit higher, and then there's gonna be a line of ice and a piston that pushes it across the ice, and then, um... It'll, like, hit the end of the ice, and another piston will push it across. And, uh, I'm just gonna hope that we can line it up with some, like, hoppers or something. We'll see. But that, that'll that work, yeah. I'm gonna test a little bit more, just to see if anything else goes wrong. Oh, wait, no. Leave it on. Let's just view it from above. I think one went down. Maybe? I, it's so hard to tell because it's very glitchy. Okay, no, that one. It seems to be working. Does any fall down? Oh, that's true. We should check to see if anything falls below. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, it looks like it goes back down, but then it doesn't. It's very strange. Okay, let's just do this. Bam, bam, bam. Doesn't look like anything's falling out. Well, I mean, that one went up and above, but we'll have a roof on it. It seems to work. The items want to go up. Okay. 
And it seems like they always go up through the center block, right? It's basically always a center block. How are the loot's bubbling up? Uh, there's- it's just a solid block of glass. There's no other place for them to go. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna make this a little bit higher. Just a nice tube. Um, we need to harvest some ice. So we can go across that way and then across that way for the sorting system, I think. But yeah. Because, yeah, we're gonna have a, a similar system to this. But I think it'll just... It'll have to be faster, won't it? Because, like, one gold can turn into, set, like, a, like, half a stack. Uh... We get on average five items per trade, yeah. And hoppers... Would a hopper above the pigments work instead of glass? No. No. Um... We may need multiple sorting systems. Right? Because... You know, the sorting system we have now... Can only process one hopper speed worth of items. So, what we're going to have to do is probably have, like... Aren't hopper minecarts faster than regular hoppers? The, the sorting system is limited to hopper speed. So it literally doesn't matter. We, we can collect stuff with hopper minecarts, we'll probably do that. But... Um... Try a suspended platform surrounded by water. It's the nether. <clears throat> uh... If a line goes straight down, you can do two hopper speed? Yeah, but the sorting system doesn't go straight down. That sorting systems kind of work. They're, they're designed in a way that they don't go straight down. Hmm. What I could do is, um, I could make three individual sorting systems in a row I could like I could split the items into three different lines or I guess I'd have to split them in five different lines I could split the items into five different lines and then it would basically have to sort each of those how do I sort them into five different lines This is so difficult, man. You could push them on an ice line with slime pistons, just like a water stream. Yes, but still, we are limited by one hopper speed for the sorting system. Yeah, you guys aren't, aren't listening. Come on. This sorting system that we have now... Even if we pushed blocks along the top, this is still only going to push it at one hopper speed. So if you push 16 items over this, it's not going to be able to suck up 16 items while the, the ice is flowing over top. So we're going to need... Here's what I'm thinking, right? We split it into... We split this into five different sections. We basically build this 
but five times. Maybe six. And we'll build sort of multiple sorters, split them into six lines, the items that come out here. We'll, we'll split them into six lines. I'm not sure how we'll split them into six lines. I think I'll probably just... Hmm. Why was there a hole there? Okay. Who needs 500 levels anyway? Fuck, that's annoying. you. Um, gotta disenchant that one. I think we have books. How did he die? I There was just a hole that I left. What did we lose? Like two repeaters. Our armor. It's really nothing. Uh, mending, efficiency, efficiency. Honestly, the most annoying thing we lost were the levels. I should grab a bow. Here, you know what? Let's get 50 levels back really quick. Uh, do I have a crossbow in here? We didn't lose that much, it's just annoying. And I really am trying not to die. It's just really bad for morale. <clears throat> Is that the first time you've died? No, it's like the sixth. And I mean, if you die and there's like no platforms, no water around, basically what happened was I... I went to jump across here and I just fell right there. I fell into that hole right there. Just jumped across. Ice of the year. Uh, I do need a little bit more. Oops. Uh, I need to take thorns off of this. I just made it levels really quick. Made dice of the nine. This will be a good test to see if the gold system works. Well, let me just check on some messages. Huh. Yeah, what level are we? Oh, level 20. Yeah, so this is how I got to level 500. It only took like an hour or two. Just a swarm of bees around us. How are they dying? There's 24 minecarts there. How? How? How did you get there? I don't understand. Did anyone see how they got there? Did anyone see where that guy came from? Where the hell did he come from? Minecarts moving back and forth? No, the minecarts are killing them, not moving back and forth. It's just entity cramming. They're suffocating because there's too many objects in one space. What happened to his levels? I died, I just fell off. Alright, that's enough. Bro. You're not a Clint.
Oh, wait, this is left on. Damn. Wait, is this backed up at all? Let's check. Bam. It's not backed up at all. It's running at full capacity, full speed. Let's go. We can turn that on. <laughs> now they all give me items. All right, yeah, that works great. Oh, they're still mad. Stay mad. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, Blackstone definitely spawnable. Patch the hold. I don't have wood. I died with all my freaking wood, man. Yeah, the sword dispensers are working. Oh, it's a beautiful... We have made a beautiful thing. It can process them at full speed. No backups whatsoever. Yeah, we didn't lose anything permanent. I try not to keep anything super bad on me. Or super, like, critical. Uh, is there a reason to save the rotten flesh? Oh, I should have grabbed rotten flesh while I was there. True. Uh, okay, so we need... Another... Do we... Okay, we have two efficiency books. We have a mending book, but we need another one. I'll need a soft touch. Thank you. Uh, I think I need another mending. Mending efficiency, mending. Yes, I'll need one more mending and I'll need unbreaking. One, two. So we'll have unbreaking, efficiency, efficiency. Mending there, mending there. Unbreaking and then soak touch. Yeah, okay, good. Is everything we need? I think we have an anvil here. Yes. So, is there like a mending and unbreaking three, mending, unbreaking three, efficiency. Okay, we need to get 17 levels. <clears throat> Alright, why not put mending on the armor? I'm lazy, mostly. Isn't it possible to make a smelting setup to gain more gold? Uh, no, it's not possible. Sorry. I'm lazy, builds an entire trading facility. Yeah, but it's just like, you get an extra one, I, you get an, you get an extra one thing. Hey, hey, idiots. Oh, that would have saved them. Like, you get an extra one ingot every minute. Wow. It's just awful. Yeah, I donated the uh, levels to charity. Harold Brian took them. You spend hours doing one thing to automate a task that takes 20 minutes. What do you mean automate a task that takes 20 minutes? That's a, that's a ridiculous take. We spent hours making a magma cream farm. So we, if we ever need magma blocks, we never need to wait ever again. I'm level 27. We built this gold farm because the thing that we took... To okay, wait. That's interesting. He was walking from over here? Did he somehow make the jump? Did I miss a spawnable platform? Where the hell is he coming for? He's spawning. Where are these guys coming from? Ah!
I guess they're coming, like, I guess here? I wonder, you know what I bet it is? You know what I bet it is? I bet they're spawning at my portal somehow. And walking all the way there. That's where they're coming from. Yep, it's gotta be it. Have we found a fortress? Another fortress? Yes. We do have another fortress. The target block and the blackstone? Yeah, but they even spawn without those there, so there must be another spawnable area. Can you put sharpness on an axe? I don't think so. Give me my food back. Thank you. Bam. 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 Okay. Pickaxe. Bam. Whoops. Okay. You can put sharpness or s you can put sharpness on an axe? Wait, you can? Since when? Do we have- I don't think we have- oh, we have sharpness 4 for 20. We could. I had no idea you could put sharpness on an axe. Uh, we'll do that. Give me a sec to think about what I need. Since forever. I had no idea. Bam, bam. Damn it. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I bet we can get those levels. Let's we'll go. Bam. Give me everything. Uh huh. Then we go. So what level do we need to get to? I don't even know. Make an anvil for the gold farm? Yeah, I guess so. We need to be level 17. That's not the anvil. 13. Oh. This might deals more damage to undead creatures. Yeah, I'm just gonna have it like this. Just so we have something in general. I could get smite, but I don't have any smite available. Okay. So we have basically everything back. I'll make some gold boots real quick. <clears throat> smite 5 axe, one hits the pigmen. I believe it. Do have an ender pearl? Not like they help me anyways. Um... Did we die? No, I just enchanted a lot of stuff. Look, I have sharpness 5 on my axe now. Shield? Oh, yeah, I can make a shield. I was just busy enchanting. I didn't die. That is ridiculous. Nope. No deaths for me, thank you very much. I simply do not die. Uh, where is the shield option? There it is. Yo, you know what we should do? We should make a banner. Is there like a ba online banner creator? Banner create. Creator Minecraft. How do you how do you make a pattern with the Oh, it is so difficult to make anything that's a meaningful shape, huh? Isn't it installing mods on the skyblock? No, you can make banners. Okay, wait. Circle pattern. I want to make the, the ant 
thing. We have a loom. Shh. Some patterns aren't available, like piglin snout. Yeah, whatever. I want to do like an ant, like a, like the the badge. Might need a wither head. If someone is able to design, probably gonna be very complex. It's not that complex. I'm not making a clean banner. Hmm. Okay. I could do an X pattern with an ink sack and a banner. An X pattern would work, but then the bottom needs to be white or black or something. I don't know. The bottom needs to be white. And then I need to do a top quarter. A top quarter needs to be... I'm figuring this out. I'm getting it. You guys should look. Wait. Um. Look. Okay. So we have this. Um, what, how do we, I just need like a top quarter to be cut off. That could work, maybe, like a bam and bam. And then we need the, that's not going to work. Um, okay, well then maybe that won't. Maybe that's not going to do the trick. Um, how do, how do we, you can put banners on your shields. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do it. What is this one? Banner, oxide, daisy, bone meal. Hmm. Skull and crossbones is just a wither skeleton skull. That's not too bad. Use a smaller top half. Oh yeah, that'll work. Try randomize over and over until we get a good one. They're all kind of just awful looking though. Is the thing. <clears throat> you can look up ant banner. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, I think we have something here. Potentially. I see what they did. Why are we wasting so much time on this? We're not wasting time. Shut up. Use it? No, no, no. We can make it better. Okay, so we they did the... View image. No, I don't want to visit. Okay, so they did... Um, How does the ant logo look? We gotta... They used... Um, how many max patterns can you use? Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the top part as well. Back inverted, black inverted thing there. Okay, so they did... Um, they started with just a regular red banner, right? They started with a regular red banner, and then they did a black exterior like this with a black border like that. That gets your general shape. Then you can do like a black center. You do the top black. And now you just need the little things and the pincers at the bottom somehow. Pincers at the bottom. 
And then... We just need two little pokey bits up from... Is it possible to have... I mean, that's pretty good so far. I'm just trying to figure out if there's a way to add little pincers onto the... Or add little things right here and right there, you know? Instead of black top, do triangle top. Okay, wait. Uh... Do triangle top? Like... This? No, I don't want that. That's way too tall. I wonder if red border would work, but then we just... Huh. No, the other border. Small black top left. Wait, which one? The corner triangles. Where are corner triangles? Six in the top row. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. What? Replace the big top half with the small top half to have antenna. No. No, I'm trying to match the sub badge. The, the sub badge. We're trying to... How many things can we add? Uh, um. That's not gonna work. The limit is six. We currently have five. Probably something that's unnecessary in this. Can you make that design in the middle? No, I don't think it's possible to make the design in the middle because we have to use this like bottom zigzag. And we have to fill in the... Well, maybe actually... Well, let's see. Remember what this is. Remember this pattern. We might if we like... Red here. We would need it to stick out somehow of the center. And then we'd have to have a border around the bottom. And the top. Not quite that much, though. It'd have to be thinner on the top. Yeah, no. I don't think so. Creeper head plus circle. Creeper 
creeper head plus circle. I guess, and then how could we... Mm. Uh. Uh. It's not quite right. Had corner triangles. What the hell are corner triangles? I think the bottom ant did look better. Now that's a neater ant. Go with the original. Okay, so the original was a. Um. Solid blue banner with um no was it it was a solid red banner and then it has a blue one of these and then a blue border to make the outside look better. I don't think I need do I need that? I don't know. We completely cover up the top half. Yeah, we completely cover up the top half. Someone came up with this. That's interesting. Whoops. Whoa. Wait, did it? Where did mine go? Oh, there it is. Let's see if it's better than ours. Then we did, um... The circle. We did the zigzag on the bottom to open it up. And then... I think I did that, right? If you want to send it, just put it in the media channel in Discord. Hmm... Oh, this is this might be a winner. I think this is the best one. This is this is the best one. This is pretty much it. Right? This is pretty pretty damn close. Was that me do? Or no, that was Goid Bite. Goid bite got that one. Someone did this one as well, but it takes seven, which is really unfortunate. Is there any way we could? Is there any way we could cut that one out to six? Because I think six is the max. Uh, undo. This one is in the middle, but I believe it has, it's uncraftable because it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it technically has seven layers. Cause yeah. The max is eight. No, if I add one more layer to this, it'll, it'll say, oh, you can't add anymore. Yeah, see, look. This banner design is unavailable beyond this point without the use of command. More than six layers. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this is unavailable. I think this is the one. I think we're going to go with this one. Now, do we have the resources to make it is the question. Okay. Vines. We have vines. Ink sac. We don't have ink sacs, but we can make that work. Rose red and oxide daisy. I don't think we have an oxide daisy, but we'll try and make it work. Ink sac, ink sac, ink sac, banner. Okay. 
Get rid of the gray outline and the white one. No, I kind of, I think the outline is needed. Wait, max is eight in bedrock, but six in Java. Don't need a loom? Okay. Would it be easy if you use a loon? I, I don't know. Is that not a type of bird? I think we're going to stick with that one. Okay, let's make a banner. Um, We have wool, right? Hey, circle. Uh, We really don't actually have any wool. Let's deal with that. I should make a loom first. Do we have wood on me? I do. Loom. Bam. How do you use a loom again? I've never actually done this before. I'm just going to be honest. Never really done this before. String in the mob farm. We specifically designed it so we cannot get any spiders. Yo, if you guys could eat, that would be great. Okay, good. Put a banner pattern. Hmm. So we'll need a red dye, I think. Yeah, we'll need rose red, and for the background, we'll need uh I think I want to do cyan, so we'll need cyan dye. I think cyan would be cool. Well, you name your animals so it doesn't affect the mob count. That's really clever. I didn't actually know that until after we dealt with animal stuff, so... We'll leave it. Um... Yeah, we'll need this. Come on, just eat. Quick. Um... I actually have the blue flower here as well. Do I still have a bone meal here? I do. We're just gonna grab... A bunch of poppies. There we go. We're gonna need a, a little bit of blue. I'm not sure how much blue dye we need, but that'll work. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can make a banner now. I don't know how to do it, but we're gonna try. Didn't know turtle spawn naturally? Yes, in a beach biome. So it's like a thousand blocks away, and then we just brought the turtle legs back home. You can craft wool with string. Yeah, okay, with three string? How's that work? How's, how's that do it? Do I need to craft the banner with... Wait, where the hell did the... Where'd the wool go? Did I accidentally put it in the chest? Ow. Wow. No, no, I, this isn't for you. This is my food. <clears throat> okay, we're going to need a bunch of cyan dye, which is green and blue. Can you make green dye out of kelp? Or do you have to use cactus? Do I have to use cactus? To make green dye? Uh, that's the one thing I haven't farmed at all! Bruh! You can use blue and yellow? Oh? Oh? Are you sure? That's crazy. No, you can't. Does 
It's so dumb. You can combine blue and white to make light blue. You can on bedrock. It would make sense, wouldn't it? It would make too much sense. The only way to get green dye is freaking cactus? You can make cyan now? I'm pretty sure you need blue and green to make cyan dye, right? Wait, with sea pickles? Do we purchase sea pickles at all? Any sea pickle purchases? We have not... I think we have like azure bluet or no, allium. Lily of the valley. Scammed. Please tell me, can you... <laughs> we just have to sit and wait. I'll need red wool to start. Do I need eight red wool? Is that how this works? Or six red wool? We're about to find out. Red banner. Okay. And then, yeah, you can put the banner in. Okay, and then if you do, if you put that, how, how do you, how, can, do you need to make a bat, an oxide daisy, I, that is oxide daisy, shield enchant, we'll enchant our shield, yeah, we need paper, do we even have any paper? Like, at all? Okay. Flower charge? Ow! Flower charge is the right one, yes? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. Moon Daisy paper. Flower charge. We also need a vine one. So we're gonna grab a vine. You don't need to make a banner pattern. Oh, Really? So you're saying this slot, I can just make every shape? Yeah, where where is the um where is this design again, if you could remind me? Although it looks like you don't need there's no vine pattern anymore. You can actually make this is the vine pattern. You don't need that. Uh if, Am I on a freaking bedrock version? Yeah, we don't need any other patterns. We have the Oxide Daisy. Please grow. Please, please, for the... Please grow. I need... One... Two... Two... This is a very interesting piglin trading facility. Yeah, your f face is an interesting piglin trading facility. Our very precious materials. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put all of it back in here for now, because I don't want to hold it. We'll come back to it later. 
once that is grown a little bit. Uh, these are all enchanted and garbage. Yes. Just turn the pork chop. It's a good time. We really got to make an automatic tree farm. It's like, it, at this point, like, we, we have to do it. It's just, it's taking so... The projects that we're using now are taking so many chests and so much wood. I think we just have to make a tree farm at some point. Hello? That would be, I think, a good idea. Yeah, I donated the EXP to charity. I think we should make an auto tree farm where I can just sit there and it'll give us a million wood. Just so we no longer have to um, do this, you know, waste our time. Because if we had built one earlier... This is the smartest way you've ever seen a tree get chopped. Well, I've had to chop a few of them. You kind of get to... Uh. You're coping so hard. Knowing how to craft wool is relevant in speedrunning. Sharpness on X isn't... What is this? Be nicer. I timed you out for an hour. Stripe the wood? No. No striping wood. The the sharpness helps me chop down the tree faster. A sharper axe helps you chop... They, they really, instead of efficiency, it should just be sharpness. And it chops down the tree faster. Right? They should just have the same enchantment. And it does more damage, but also chops down the tree faster. Wouldn't that make so much more sense? It is very logical. Sharpness is efficiency, but against mobs, yeah. A sharp axe just cuts everything down. Yeah, imagine like a timber, a timber enchant. That's like a rare one, you know? Like a, like a silk touch enchant, but it's timber. Yo, that would be sick. Automatic tree farms, no more. You just sit there for like 30 seconds, timber a tree. Is there a mod like that? Yeah, it's called timber. I don't want any of those saplings to fall down into the stuff because we actually would like to get these saplings back to grow more trees. Come on, go away, get destroyed faster. How much wood did we get? All right, from three trees, we got four stacks of wood, but it's still, it's like, it's never enough. Hello? Timber, also the tree dating app, yes. We've been kind of in the overworld a little bit today. I wonder if this is filling up at all. Gradually? Yes. I think we might make the iron farm a little bit more efficient as well, because I think we're going to be running out of... Um, I think we're going to be running out of iron here soon, so we should probably, like, triple the size of it. Yeah, you're never going to have enough wood unless you make an automatic tree farm, in which case you can build whatever you want whenever you want. Get a chunk loader? It's in the spawn chunks. We don't need the chunk loader. Is there any way you can watch the full playthrough? Yeah, all the things are on Twitch. Just check every VOD. I think I've played it every single day for the past two weeks. After whatever the regularly scheduled thing is. Alright, I think I'm done for now. Um, I do want to recuperate my saplings though when I use 12. 
You should move automated tree farm higher on the priority list. Yeah, after we're done the piglin trading facility, either ice farm or wood farm is, is like next up because I am sick. Sick of this. Oh. Did I miss a call? Oh, okay. I can call right now. This the, it's the realtor person there. Like you could try one more offer for on this house, and I was like, okay, just give me give me a sec. I gotta take a phone call. Um, have fun. Um, listening to the music because I'm gonna.
Okay, sorry, I had a phone call. I I was looking at houses this weekend, and the realtor called me and was like, "Yo, we you could still put in an offer on this one place, even though they accepted a different offer, because there's a good chance that it falls through because they don't have enough money for the house." And I was like, "Pog, okay." So yeah, I just had to do some house stuff, but I'm back. Did you guys see the the BRB? Did it did did. So you're competing for- I'm not really competing for a house, I'm just like, putting an offer in just in case, because their offer might fall through. There's like a 90% chance it doesn't, but a 10% chance that I could get it. Did the cag- Oh, the cag- Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! When I say pog in a phone call? Did I? I might have. That'd be embarrassed. I'm very well might have. Congrats on being in a house buying situation. I mean, it's yeah. YouTube's going, going, going well. I don't know. I might have said pog. Housing is crazy right now. It is. I just don't. I don't want to live in a ten by twelve foot room though. G. I'm done with this, this 12, 10 by 12 foot room BS. Find a few you like. Yes, there were two good ones. And the, the, so the, the situation basically is like, there was one offer for a house that was like, like insanely high, like way over the asking price. And, um... Basically, uh, I, I I learned all of this uh, over the course of the weekend, basically. Uh, and the way it works, apparently, is like, if you're getting a mortgage, and the, the bank will appraise the house to figure out how much it's actually worth, right? So let's say, you know, there's there's a house that is... The, you, you're, you're like, your offer is like, okay, I offer $600,000 for this house. Right? And then the bank is like, it's actually worth $500,000. Um, for your mortgage, on top of your down payment, you need to pay an additional $100,000. And, uh, most likely, the offer is like, th that amount, they probably overpaying for the house by like 100k. So... There's a good chance that it falls through, and she was like, you might as well be the next best offer, just in case it does fall through. So I was just doing that. Um, actually, um, it's worth, uh, 500, but... Did you die? No, I just enchanted, I just made a sharpness pick- sharpness act. Anyways, what were we doing again? Can you get the blueprints from your farm anywhere? Some of them are YouTube tutorials, some of them I made myself. I am crossing all my four digits for you. Your four did what four digits? Did you lose your limbs or something? What happened to your no banner? Oh yeah, the banner. That's what we we're doing. Are you moving out of PG or out of BC? I'm moving to Calgary. Why not make an auto cactus farm? We're never gonna need cactus. You were mining into the sky. Right, we were building this. <clears throat> but yeah, right now I am currently living in a three bedroom apartment with three other roommates. And I mostly exist in a 10 by 12 foot room. If you looked at my- if you- if you came into my room, you would think I was unemployed, and, uh, was just... drifting along. How big is Prince George? It's like, population of like 80,000. <clears> How are you gonna eat when they're gone? I don't know. Maybe I'll- I'll get a, another roommate that I pay to- to clean and cook. Wait, isn't that like- that's like a nanny. But I am the kid. <laughs> 
Oh, it grew. Let's go. I'm not taking care of any kids. Okay, Steven. I'm your employee. I'll do it. Yeah? Okay. Alright. Uh, the next time the cactus grows, we can make cyan die. And I think we only need to do it two cactuses. Two, do, do, do. Down, 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 down. Where are the banner patterns? Banner pattern? Here we go. Cactus grow. I want to make these banner patterns. Do you like new Pokemon game? It's okay. It's just I, I, I'm the new Pokemon game. I don't think I can play it for a long time because it never feels like I'm actually accomplishing anything. It's it's very strange like after I played it once one playthrough Like I got about halfway through it, and I'm like I just All the side quests are just like hey yo Go catch this Pokemon and then come back Um, You can only do one quest at a time by the way or at least see one quest at a time by the way And then you have to manually go through the clunky quest system to go and find the next one like, the whole game is just a series of fetch quests. I don't know if I like it. Now that I've had some time to reflect. The whole game is literally just fetch quests. Come on, give me a thing. Harvest ice? Oh, yo, we could harvest the ice. Okay, you shouldn't get it. I mean, I enjoyed it. I feel like it's a type of game I'll play once every, you know, few weeks, maybe. Make a little bit of progress and then put it down. Yo, Powdered Snow is here. You guys want to get an advancement right now? Nah, let's do all the advancements at the same time. I'm not going to do an advancement right now. I don't want to harvest the ice. I don't feel like it. Breath of the Wild is just fetch quests? Nah, oh, Breath of the Wild is way more than just fetch quests. It's way more than that. Bucket, bucket. There we go. Breath of the Wild is like... What does it have? The shield and banner don't look the same at all. Are you sure? Yeah, the gameplay is good, but it lacks purpose. Mario Odyssey is just fetching moons. Yes, but every moon is unique and different in its own way. Why? Where did the water go? You know, it, every everything is is special, especially the shop moons, where you have to, you know, you can get coins in so many different ways, and so it adds so many unique different options to achieve something. Shields with banners look different than the actual banner? Oh, God. Okay, what do they look like? There's not enough gameplay variation in Arceus. Or actual ex reward exploration. Side of the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah! Hey, yo, give me that. Mmm. Mmm. Powdered snow. Arceus' biggest flaw is the Sneasel thing. Yeah. Big agree. Let 
make the platform bigger. I don't really need powdered snow anymore. Because we need to manually kill the, um, the blazes anyways. Building blocks. This is totally a building block, right? Okay, I need the punch. Let's do this. We're gonna go... Bam. 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 Okay. Beautiful. Would you look at that? Woo! Yeah, why didn't Dunsparce get an evolution? Everybody's always wanted an evolution for Dunsparce, so it's not a useless blob, right? Mm. Can you place regular ice in the nether? Will it melt? Bro, cactus? Why is this not growing? Banners do be bigger than shields. Some people are coming up with some cool designs. Oh, really? Is that how that looks as a shield? Yeah, they don't look the same at all. Awful. Wow. Shields of lower resolution, which completely changes the look. Like, the, the, the shield design that we're currently trying to make, it looks like a stupid plug. Like, it looks bad. I'm gonna do a different one. Show us... No. Uh, we need to change the color of the base, though. That's the first thing we gotta do. We need to make this into a... Teal... One. Or cyan. Can you do that just by, like... Just going boom, boom, boom. No? I have to make a whole new one? What the hell? Going to creative really quick? Okay. Single player. Create new world. Use vanilla tweaks? Nope. Doo -doo. Big nut. Thanks for the eight months. Okay, it's just creating it. So, so yeah. We're going to do two designs, and I'm going to show you the two designs that we got. Okay, so we got a, a loom. Boom, bam. Bam. Okay, we need a banner. Not that's bien. Oh, uh, we're gonna do cyan banner. We'll need thing charge. What the heck does that mean? Need a flower charge for each of them, and we'll need some black dye. Where's the dot? There. Yeah, we'll need some cyan dye, and we'll need some red dye. Okay, so here is design number one. We're gonna go bam. We need to apply a red X to the b banner. Then we need to apply a blue bottom to the banner. And then we need to give a Red flower charge to the banner. Then we do a red circle. Red roundel. And then we do this color here. And we now have a banner that looks like that, which is not looking like an ant, right? But just you wait, just you wait. Now we're going to build the other design. The other design looking like this, where we plop that bad boy in there. And we go... No, wait. We need to start with a red banner for this one. Uh, 
B A N N E R. Red banner with this one. We go bam, red banner. The blue border. And then we'll go bam. And then blue border to get the shape right, yeah? And then we go red flower charge. Trust the process, I guess. Um, then blue roundel. And then blue zigzag on the bottom. And then blue on the top half. <clears throat> top half. Hello? Where's the top half option? Top half. There. So here are our two banners. Beautiful, gorgeous, right? Absolutely stunning. That one's the that one's the ant badge. This one is a mess. But if we go and we get a shield, right? So we're going to get the shield, yeah? We're going to go bam, bam, bam. And now, if we go and we go into our crafting thing, in survival mode, I think you can just do this. Look at that. It looks like a freaking plug. Look at it. It looks awful. That's the right one. It's terrible. Right? So, pick this up. Oh, you can't. Okay. Looks like a stupid spate, I know, right? So, if we go back into creative mode, we're going to search up a shield. Now, look at get 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 ready for this one, all right? It's going to blow your freaking socks off. We're going to go back into survival mode. And we're going to go bam. Ba bam. This one, on low resolution, looks surprisingly like an ant. Doesn't it? So, this one will probably go up on our walls, and yeah, this one will go on our shield, I guess. Oh, alternatively, we could try and copy the layout of the stream. Where it's like, um, just like the random sort of triangle shapes of like, the, the, the cyan and red maroon, right? Make another one with the scaling in yours, G-Max Jolteon. Where is yours? Do you have the same Discord username? Enchant the shield as well. Yeah, we're also going to enchant it. Okay, let, let's just try a, a layout design. Black banner, blue gradient. So is this sky block? We're making a good shield. So 
So let's just clear all. What if we just start with just a regular old black banner, right? And then Lickle suggested we do a uh, black gradient from the top. No, I'd wait. No, a cyan gradient from the bottom. Suggested we try a cyan gradient from the bottom. And then a corner cyan on the right. And then we do a, a diagonal maroon across this side. And then a pointy down black shape. Like so, like so. And then there's like a, a, a rough layout, kind of. That's not terrible. Posture check. Oh, thanks. So, like, it looks like my background on my stream. I think that looks pretty good. But we could probably do better, I bet. I bet we could do slightly better. Hmm. Why not the ant? It doesn't look good. Let's just start with a base color of like this. Then maybe... Dark from the top for a darker maroon, right? We could add... This along here. And then... We probably want some... That would give us a slightly darker... <clears throat> red we could also try something like a a black gradient there but that's too dark yeah what if you do red gradient twice First stream, big fan, yeah? Yeah, what if we... Yeah, that's true. What if we start with a black shield? And what if we just do red gradient twice? I wonder, what if we just do red gradient? And then that... Oh, that's just a solid... Okay, well, that's that's dumb. That did not work. Is the piglin shit done? To almost. Haha. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, I wonder, what could we do here? Yeah, what does a double red gradient look like? Does that change how it looks at all? Oh, wait a minute. It does actually change how it looks. Oh, yo, Lickle, I like that. Show me the pat. Show me the pattern, Lickle. Yo, Lickle kind of came up with a good one. Lickle got a good design, but I want it. I gotta see it. Okay, you start with a black shield. Bam, bam. You start with a black shield. You add two red gradients on the bottom. So go boom, boom. Right? You add... Or no, you just add one red gradient on the bottom. And you add this here. Then you add a diagonal. Like this. And then a light blue. Like that. That's pretty good. That is not... Not bad at all. I am okay with this. They look weird on banners because the bottom square is larger. But it would look good on a shield. 
Yeah, let's check how this looks on a shield. Okay. This is actually a super simple one, too. Okay, so we start with just a black banner. So we're going to go... Uh, creative mode. Banner. Black banner. Okay. And we don't need any patterns. We just need a couple of dyes. We'll need some light blue dye, some cyan dye, and some red dye. Let's start with a red layer of gradient from the bottom. Nope. Yeah. And then a red corner on the bottom right. And then on the diagonal, we do blue. And then we add a triangle to the top. Like so, and then we add it to a shield. We go open up our, come on, creative mode. Open up my inventory. We grab a shield. Survival mode. Bam. Uh, oh. Poor man's elytra. <laughs> you can't handle my strongest shield. No! I'm in the middle of typing a command. TIE Fighter mode. How's it look? That's pretty good. Frick off. I'm done with ants. I kind of like that. That ain't bad. Here, I'll see what other people have for suggestions. If anyone else has one. Nope. Add chat as well. Alright. Well, the, the thing is about this design is that it actually only uses... Four. So we could potentially figure out like a slightly... We, we could work on it slightly more. Because we have an extra two patterns we can add. In shield form, it does look good. Like, if there's a way that we could connect this somehow instead. Where it's, um, like here. Instead of adding these here, we could probably remove this. Add a, uh, a bottom half red. And then add like a a a bot uh, like something like that instead, like a bottom diagonal red as well, and then a gradient, like a a red here, and then maybe like a gradient in between. This would have to go underneath that, but in between these two, you could have a gradient as well, like a black. Gradient from the bottom. Maybe from the top. I don't know. Oh my god, a raid! Martin, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. We're, we're trying to make a, a cool-looking shield. Um, yeah, we're trying, to make a, we're trying to make a shield. Hello, boat. Hello. Welcome, everyone. I'm, yeah, we're trying to make a cool shield design for my Skyblock world. Welcome. You've made it just in time for something. What is that something? I don't quite know yet. Uh, okay, let's let's go back to what we what we had before. Real quick, real quick, real quick. We're just gonna go boom, boom, boom. It was a red gradient from the top. But hello, we are making a sick looking shield to match my stream layout. If it's not obvious. Uh, so this is what we had before, right? Did we have this? I don't know. This is what we had. Is that right? Let's Minecraft real quick. It doesn't look right. Boat. I don't know what boat means, but hello. Oh 
Hmm. Maybe it was a top bottom gradient. Ah, yeah, it was bottom gradient. <clears throat> yeah, cause like, okay, here, here's an idea. Why don't we add a uh, one that's directly across like this, with like a gradient in between, maybe. Where the gradient is like, hmm. Mm, if only she knew. Yeah, we can add one more pattern onto this. What if I add just like a... Just a red triangle? To... This instead? That's pretty good. I don't like how it meets in the middle though. That's it's kind of uh, You gave it a try? You did. It's a little hectic. If you do this, you really need the square on the bottom right. I think so. It does kind of add a lot. Because it, it has to be like a, a very almost random looking pattern. I don't know. I think I kind of like Lickle's the best. Lickle came up with a pretty good one. With just the the square on the bottom right. It looks weird here, but on a shield, it's good. <clears throat> It'd be nice if it could connect, though. That's the, that's the one thing I I wish it could do is is connect. Boat. Wait a minute. What if we add this now? There we go. You're from Martin. Martin. I still don't know how to say the name. Add a slight line at the back. I don't know what that means. Add light gray at the top left. I don't know how I would add light gray at the top left for chat. I do not know how. We can still add one more pattern onto it. So I'm just going to try something. Does that do anything? At all. Just play the game. No. Don't be so demanding. This is playing the game in a certain way. Wanna know about? Just watch Marin's Just Cause speedrun series. Alright, alright. I got you. Come on. We, we do, I think we have something here. To add like an intermediate color. We go top and bottom. And it still is slightly darker. For a moment. I'm going to try that. That's all the banner patterns we could use. Does that change the look at all? Not really. Creeper is the final texture. This is all the textures we can use. It's six. Six is the max. You think Lickles was better? Let, let's let's make this one and just compare real quick. Because there's that. Lickles, and then I'll make mine, and we can just hold them side by side and look at them. Okay. Uh, creative mode. Where's the loom? There it is. Okay. Uh-huh. Boom. Okay, so we start with this. We add red dye to add a top gradient, and then red dye to add a bottom gradient, and then this to add a triangle pointing upwards, and then this to add a diagonal. Now we need cyan. We'll need light blue dye as well for the this one. And then uh, the light blue dye as well. Here. For the middle spike. Okay, so here's our banner pattern. Uh, 
And let's add it to a shield to see how it looks. Martin Cito pants. There we go. Thank you. Can you add that? No, it doesn't fit. There's not enough room. Uh, we're going to switch to creative. Take a screenshot, apparently. Banner. No, I need shield, actually. Right. You grab a shield. Let's apply this to a shield. What do you see? Yeah. Shield. Banner. Okay, so... Which shield is better? This one or this one? Left or right? Left? Right. Which one look matches the layout better? Left or right? I'm gonna let, let I'm gonna do a poll actually, because I can't tell. Poll. Okay, you guys have 60 seconds to click on the option. If you type it in chat, it'll literally mean nothing. Left or right? Is there a way to copy banners at all? Okay, it looks like 71% prefers Lickle's option. Sounds good. It seems like a majority... You can duplicate banners in survival. Put it in a crafting grid with a blank banner. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Sounds good to me. Just use the crafting grid. Alright, looks like left one. I agree. Let's go make it now. Unless there's an upgraded version. Yeah. Oh wait, I got pinged. Pog. Single player. Skyblock to its limits. <laughs> the banner must be the same base color. Oh, easy. Easy. No problem. Okay, so we just need waiting for that to grow so we can make the uh, the green color or the dye or whatever. No, not the dye. Wait, speaking of dye, we need black dye for the black base color, don't we? The left look better. We're doing the left, yeah. Don't you worry. Six, that's good. We still need black dye. I'm gonna do two. I think we might have... I don't know if we have any... Ink? Pretty sure we just have regular. Because we, we haven't actually kept any regular squids alive recently. We do have a lot of unintentional squid farms, but they're regular squid farms. <laughs> hmm. Come on. Squid games? Come on. Hey, guys. If you could just eat your grass so I could have more of the good stuff, that'd be great. You know what? Screw you. If you don't give me it within 30 sec 20 seconds, I'm gone. 20 seconds, that's all you get. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen and a half. I'm gone. We've never actually needed wool before in any meaningful capacity, so we haven't really prioritized it much. At the house if you can go, you find anything you're interested in? Yeah. But then people were too rich and they are buying houses with crazy stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna look at a bunch of different things, see what we've got. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Damn, carpet. Alright, here's my plan instead of shearing sheep. We go here and we just, um, 
Grab all of this string. Wow, look at that. We have 17 wool. I'm playing SMO again? Literally tomorrow. Check the schedule, please. Okay, do we have any r regular... We don't. Okay, well, we need to get a regular squid somehow. I have a plan, though. Don't worry. My plan to get regular... I'm pretty sure squid... Don't need... I actually have no idea what the spawn conditions of squid are. I, I'm pretty sure they don't need source blocks, though. They kind of just spawn anywhere. As long as it's... Like a certain type of biome. So, I'm gonna go stand in a river biome. Which I believe was right over here. We had a river biome. River. Boom. And uh, we're just going to watch some squid spawn. I'm going to run away. And some squid will spawn. And I'm going to hope I can kill them in time. Before they immediately die. We'll see. There's glow squids. But like regular squids though? Any regular squid? Is that squid in the water behind me? Yeah, those are glow squid. We need a regular squid. Maybe they do need source blocks? Maybe we do need... <gasps> oh my god. Maybe they just need more than one block to spawn in. And so I need to destroy these. Check this weird quirk of Minecraft out. I'm gonna go bam to make the platform bigger. I'm gonna nearly die. Then we're gonna go bam to make the platform bigger. And then I'm gonna do that. And bam, and now the platform's bigger. Then we're gonna do that. And then there's more spawning area. <laughs> you can kind of just do that forever. Pretty much. What's your Y level? It's like 70, but it goes down to the 60 number that it needs to be at. You have a river. This is a river biome. Wait. Wait, where, where, where's the river? Oh, God. Oh, oh. That was close. I almost fell off. Yeah, this is a river. It's windswept hills. River. Well, I mean, I did fall off, but squid down there? It's a glow squid. Okay. It used to be a river, river. Like here. Am I building with obsidian? Yes. It'll only take a second to destroy, right? We have efficiency five. See, yeah, this isn't taking too bad. It's also filling up this entire area. Wondering Trader has a decent chance. Yeah, all right, we'll just wait eight hours. Is there any other way to get black dye? Do wither roses give black dye? I would hope so. They do? Oh, that's cool. I'm not gonna do that. 
Because I feel like that's probably more work than just getting a squid to spawn, but, you know, it would be cool. <gasps> You're mine, squid. No! Damn you. Ready? 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 The squid will spawn. Go! No! Squid fell off. Spawn. One. No! They keep jumping! No! I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> Where's the ink? <laughs> Got him. Only two black die? <clears throat> Come on. No! Can you dye a banner after it's been made? Like, can you turn a white banner into a black banner just by... ...dyeing it? Is that a thing? No. You have to use the w right colored wool. Gross. Spawn kill. Ready? Bam. No, wait. Wait for it. Any second now. One of them will survive. Don't you dare. No! Okay, I just need... Whoa... Uh... Ah, 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 ah! Ah, man! I'm just gonna go dye a sheet black. <laughs> Screw this. Yo, the cactuses do be growing, though. Like, I'm out, dude. Ow. Ow. Why is it so pokey? Ow. Prediction idea. Um, I don't know. Um, I need twelve. Better eat some freaking grass. Eat it. Eat it. Love the wall of buckets. Yeah, it's all the special buckets. It's we we almost have all of them. Any chance of making an automated wolf farm? I really should here soon. Would be a good idea. Bone meal of sheep. I'll just add string to the sheep. Hello. Yeah. Why don't we just give the wool back? No, I just. Hello? Sheep? You're supposed to... Why are you taking so long? <sighs> Make them do baby? Oh, yo, coin flip? That'll work. Yo. Boom. Boom. Please have some grass. It's all around you. Just need five. That's it. I just want to copy the banner so we have a backup. Bone meal them? I don't have any bones on me. Okay, maybe I do. 
Okay, that one doesn't like it. That one doesn't like it. Here, eat it. Eat it. Mmm, tasty bone meal. Mmm. Mmm. I'll give you zero seconds. I was about to say. We just need three more. What are you doing? We're trying to get some black wool so I can make a cool looking banner. Because I got distracted and I lost my shield and now I'm trying to make a new one. But I'm... I... Ha, I want to only have to make it once. And if you have one banner, you can copy it with enough wool. And I need six wool for every banner. But uh, anyways, a tanner banner. Yeah. Just I just need three more black wool, guys. Hurry up. Where are the turtles? They're swimming. They, they're in their pond. Please let me shoo you. What is taking so long? In a speed run, it doesn't take this long. The squids would have been faster at this point. Yeah, I totally thought it would be faster. Hey, give me yours. You're that's close enough. Llama fur? I'll take it. Have you died the sheep? No. Yes. We're good. Go, 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 go. Banner time, banner time, banner time. Woo! The prediction result is ahead. When you chop down the trees? I don't know. That's a nice aesthetic. Now, what exactly is he speedrunning? I am not speedrunning. I don't speed run. You think I'm a speed runner? <laughs> you are sorely mistaken. All right. So we got blue dye. We got to make light blue dye. We got to make red dye. One, two. We'll need one of these. We'll need one more corn flower. Plankton, is that you? No. Okay, so we're going to start with the simple red gradient coming from the bottom. Next, we have to add a simple bottom right red square. Now, this adds more contrast to the red colors. And the next step is a little more complicated. We take our green dye, combine it with our blue dye to make a cyan dye. This next step is very important. We add a top left diagonal to the black banner. And once that's complete, the next step is simply to forget that you have missed one color of dye, white dye, to make light blue. Once you have light blue, you can add that to your banner to add a top triangle to finish off the look. And then there you go, your banner is complete. And you can simply copy the banner. Now we have to. The next step is quite simple. Remove your shield. Put your shield into your crafting grid with the banner. And suddenly, you're left with a work of art. It matches the diamond and the skin, doesn't it? Let's go. Okay, we need to get on breaking and mending now as well. Just real fast.
What happened to your shoes? You know how uncomfortable it is running around in diamond boots all day? That's- this stuff is hard as a hell. It just hurts your feet, man. I couldn't handle it any longer. I was so done. Why did you redesign the villager hall? It was taking too long. To rearrange villagers. Alright. Shield, book, not enough money. <laughs> Are you sure about that one? Okay, it looks really good. Thanks, Mom! I think it does, too. Now we can name it to... What, what should we call the shield? What are we naming the shield? Not the letter B, I hope. Shield Ant. Durant. Tanner Banner. Jim. Thank Lickle for the design. Small shield. Name it Smom, because she protected me as a child. I could. Thank Lickle for the design, what a great name. You can actually have such a long names. Wow. Small shield. Just name it shield. Zucchini one. Name it wow. Layout Larry. Blu-ray two. Blu-ray is a cat's name. More thanks to the two. Rat's birthday mixtape, Diamond Shield. Shield in reverse, Yelas. Mirror Shield. Sub with Prime. Tanner Banner. Just name it Chat. Untitled project number. Yeah, it's just. Giga Chad Cap. It's just so hard. I don't even know anymore. I don't know. I'm trying to find one that stands out. Chat the bunker. Do a poll. Okay. We'll just do a poll. Uh, shield name. Uh, give me some options again. Wait, it's gone. Heck. Damn it, better shield ant. Um. Okay. TM17. <laughs> okay. I have enough options. Uh. Uh. Wait, I spelled shield wrong. Okay, wait, you must provide a question. Click on the thing. I, I just picked a bunch of random ones from chat. Here we go. 
What happened to the 400 levels? Uh, we decided to make the shield instead. To make a really good shield, sometimes it costs a few levels. No Howie Mandel, so sad. Okay, looks like most people say thanks, Lickle. Alright. Yeah. Thanks, Lickle. Red base gradient, red base sinister canton, cyan per bend sinister, light blue inverted chevron, unbreaking three mending. <coughs> Do the full name. Okay. There we go. We have our, our shield name now. Thanks, Lickle, for the shield design. I really appreciate It's a perfect fit. And we're, we're kind of looking... Look, look at us. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, now let's just melee with the shield. Alright, well that was fun. Now we have the shield, then we have the design here too. That we can copy at any moment. So that was a fun little side project. Back to actually doing something. Um, what is that something though? I don't really know. Good toss. Emotional damage when you fall. Yeah, we'll lose out on this. Thanks, Lickle. I really appreciate. Thanks, Lickle, for the design. I really appreciate. Back to the Piglin Charading Facility. Okay, I can't remember what the heck we were doing when I died, though. I mean, when I sacrificed everything for a good shield or something. We did do this. Um, let's uh, just disassemble this right now, because we don't need this anymore. And yeah. We do have our piglin machine done. Our piglin feeding machine, where we can just like... Oh, is that on? No, that's off. Okay. They do be doing their thing. Do you have enough gold? Well, I think we'll, we're good on gold, yeah? I should probably move over. Actually, no, I shouldn't move all of this over. I should have the block of gold and it's blocks of gold in their own chest. That's like kind of isolated. We're going to put the blocks of gold in a chest right here. I think. Because it just, it makes sense to have them separate because we don't want to feed the piglins full blocks of gold by accident. So I'm going to take these out and, you know, if we ever need extra gold, we can always break down these blocks and use those. I think that's a good plan. Right? M remove the text on the bottom of the screen. We're currently building the piglin trading facility still. It's not done yet. Right now, all the Piglin Trading Facility does is we turn it on. And, uh, they spit out items into a pit. Right there. So, we kind of need to figure out a better solution than that. Anyways. Yeah, they spit out all the items up there. Gold. Empty that out. Bam. Bam. Do I have any garbage? Yeah, I did leave some stuff in these chests. Uh, you want to do five or six? Oh, right. Uh, yeah, for the piglin items, we will need 
like five to six different sorting things and we're gonna have to split up the items into five or six different channels how do we even do that how do we how do we split up hopper lines into e evenly split up things i guess we have to do the the sucking in the like the suck and push with a hopper right Do the what? Like, um... Yeah. You can use a hopper minecart. Oh, yeah. That's actually a really good idea. Because you can use hopper minecarts to split one into two. Yeah, I like that. We'll do that. Because we could split it into... I think we'll have to split it into six different sorting things. And then the sorting things will just... Uh, sort of... Converge into one storage system, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, so let's uh let's patch this hole. This is where we fell. We fell off right there. Walk around, fill in the holes as best I can. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Good. Okay, we have a nice tube. And these need to go a little bit higher. Which is why I bought so much glass. Um... We're going to bring this a little higher before we start pushing it across stuff. Bye. Go away. Go away. Go. Go. Because we need to go... We need to have it go over this and, like, we need to send it that way. Uh, if you push items with a slime block, does the item go further? I guess we couldn't do that anyways. Do you finish the gold farm? Yes, gold farm is done. We're just working on the piglin trading facility now. We need more glass. Because, <laughs> yeah, we need to have... It, it sucks, but I'm pretty sure we need to have a 5x5 five five area. Where the items just raise right up, and once they hit the top, they'll, uh... Get their land on ice for their last block. We got the iron for the hoppers. Uh, magic. I'm sure you're aware of hopper item sorters. Yes. We literally made that for our gold farm. Um, but yeah, we, uh, our gold, or we got all the iron from our iron farm right there. Our iron golem's currently dying on the fire. And yes, yeah, so we just got three to five iron just by, do just by existing, which is great. Um... I may need to do a few iron trades. We're starting to run low on iron, though, for sure. Hmm. Spooky. You know what? What's our ender chest filled with? Let's empty out our ender chest, and... Uh, I'm gonna empty out the ender chest. And we're just gonna bring rotten flesh back by, like, an insane amount. And we're gonna trade rotten flesh real quick. 
But I do need to empty out my inventory. I really want, like, an at-home sorting system soon. Where I can just dump my inventory into chests and it'll auto-sort it. But we're not quite there yet. Where's our bucket chest? We're not quite there yet. I'm getting there. Just not quite. Make sure this, yeah, has the bricks. Bam. Can you get any more sand? It's very difficult, but it is doable. Um, but, yeah, it's just wandering trader stuff. Yeah, we only have 11 emeralds. We'll trade that. Okay. Never put those in there. Where'd you get a lava from? Um, we traded with a wandering trader to get dripstone. We got a dripstone block from a villager. With that, we made a dripstone farm. And with the dripstone farm, we got more dripstone. We made a lava farm with all the dripstone that we got. Yep. Yep. Okay. Got a few emeralds this way. Okay, good. Okay. Can you make a dripstone farm? Just a, a machine that senses whenever dripstone grows, basically. Alright. Managed to get a little bit more. Wonder if that's an alt account mods, huh? <laughs> what guide are you following? I'm not following a guide. I'm doing... I'm kind of just figuring it out as we go along. If we ever, like, need a really complicated farm, sometimes we'll look at a tutorial, but we're not, like, looking at any specific guides. Mm, right, I did this for more glass. Bam, bam. How many trade glass? I think it's just two of them. Maybe it's three? I'm not sure. Okay, three trade glass. Yeah, the thing is, like, what we're doing right now is not something that you... Usually people just do, like, the basic skyblock stuff and then quit. But I really wanted to do everything you possibly could. I wanted to go even further beyond. Or whatever. Okay. Is magma stone? It is now. Congrats. You've been promoted. So is obsidian. It's just a wacky type of stone. Do -do -do -do. Okay. I don't need my shears either or the crossbow. I'm just going to keep these because they're nice to have. I'm going to make an ender chest really quick. I think we have, yeah. Do you start with enough obsidian for the portal? Yeah, they just give you enough. Kind of cringe, but that's the way it was back in the, back in the day. Okay. Magma's molten stone, obsidian is glass. Glass is a type of stone. It's just shiny rock. I always get so turned around. Okay, let's drop down an ender chest somewhere. Let's go right here. All right, good. So what I'm going to do real quick is just fill up my ender chest with rotten flesh. Fill up my inventory with rotten flesh, and we're just going to get a million emeralds. Glass is just a big, a big solid chunk of sand, and sand is just small rocks. Glass does not have a crystal structure. Glass is just small rocks, right? So yeah, now what we're able to do is go... Bruh. And we got 48 extra emeralds. And not enough inventory space for more emeralds. 
Does this fit? Let's hope. Alright. Unless these guys are ready for more. No! Okay. Uh, are you guys ready for more? Actually, I should check the glass guys. Because we will need more glass. Uh, okay. How do you keep training like that? It's just mashing the space bar and the other ones. Huh. Only one is ready. Check one more time. Alright, good. Three stacks of glass. That'll do it. The training place is so compact now. Yeah, we needed to shrink it down a little bit. Yo, there's another three to five uh, iron. Looking good. This is triggering your geology degree. What kind of jobs do you get with a geology degree? I'm curious. I just, I don't know anything about it. What, what, uh, what kind of stuff do you, do you do? What is your, what is your goal? <laughs> a geologist. Okay, but like, what does a geologist do? That's not helpful. You become a rock man. Like, like a Mega Man? If so, that's kind of sick. They find oil for oil companies? Okay. A geography teacher? Fair. You can get bank from oil companies doing drilling. Wait, I need to see their name though. What what what, what were they doing it for? Mm, your name started with an M. It was one word. I'll recognize it if I see it right. Melanite. What is what is it? What is a geologist do, Melanite? What is your what is your dream job? When you become a level 3 geologist, you can invent your own rock. That's so cool. I think here is where we're going to add the ice. Geologists work in energy and mining sectors, searching for natural resources such as petroleum. Exploration for mineral resources, mining for oil companies. Nice. Cool. Thanks for sharing. I was just, I was genuinely curious. Because I had no idea what it, what the prospects for a kind of job like that are. Alright, so, um, we need some packed ice now. And I need to add a piston right here. Um, I actually, I'll probably have to add a block with a piston. So probably the piston will go here. Attached to glass, is the idea. But I'm just gonna double check that this does still go up. Oh, I think, wait. Did something pop out to the side? Did boots pop out of the side there? I'm gonna turn it on again. Did I see that right? Oh, I think it's because it's open. Oh yeah, it's open on the side. Okay. I think everything does ride up. This is so we it is so weird, but it works, you know? It's weird, but it gets the job done. Yeah, I like it. I think it'll work. Okay. <clears throat> it like fit. yeah. So basically, the um, the the piglins don't actually have any any space at all. Their bottom halves are stuck in a solid block, and their top halves are stuck in glass, so they don't suffocate. So what happens is the gold gets stuck in the bottom block. And they pick it up before it can rise. Um, but because they're stuck in solid blocks, they chuck out items from the top half. And the, they they just move upwards to try and escape. Because they usually... That's how just items work, is they usually just rise up. And we've kind of... Figured out that... By... Um, 
you know, messing around a little bit. We're, we're starting to figure something out. How do we detect if there, I guess I could just, if that lever is on, we could have a thing on that just a clock that pushes every so often. Place a hopper underneath the piglins? No, we determined that doesn't work. That out a while ago. Are you winning? Yeah. Uh, we do need ice, actually. So let's um, let's try and get some packed ice. That is not going to be enough packed ice. I'm just going to be honest. What does Smallin do for a living? What are his prospects? Um, I mostly play video games. My prospects. Once I'm done playing video games, I'll just I'll I'll retire. Really? Yeah, what else is there to do in the world? Yeah, this is my job. I... I am a... I, I run a, um... Social... Social... Uh, or a content creation company. Smant Corp. That manages, um, 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 that 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 has a, a few employees and produces content on the internet, basically. This man, it's not a joke. Is it legally called that? It might be legally called that. Empl I do have employees. I have salaried employees, okay? I do. I'm, and I'm probably gonna have to add a few on here soon as well. Is it a corporate LLC? Uh, I'm in Canada, so it, it's like a corporation. Would you pay them with happiness? Um, with the the leftovers from the minuscule amounts of ad revenue. Audit incoming. I actually already got audited, and they were like, "Yo, you owe us more money," and I'm like, "That more?" Your mom is not an employee. No. She don't. She runs her own content creation company or whatever I did pay taxes okay it hurt I paid taxes for the first time it was not good first first time is like a like a, like as as a corporation cuz I it's only been a, like a, a year think I can survive if I jump I could just pearl instead. That seemed like a faster way down. Uh, six packed ice, huh? We should probably make an ice farm. Am I the only one that actually likes paying taxes? I feel useful. I feel robbed. I don't want to help anyone else out. I earned that myself. No, no one, no one else deserves anything. I earned all of that money with hard work playing video games and talking to strangers. Those patholes don't fill themselves. Yeah. I don't really go out much or like drive, so it's not really an issue. Pack does regular ice melt in the nether? 
Could I have been using regular ice this whole time? Or is it, like, necessary to use packed ice? Like, is packed ice that much of a difference? Yes, it's that much of a difference, or... I really should be using it? Okay. Make sure it's packing. I will pack the ice. Okay, so now we have a channel. We're gonna figure out how far this goes. It has been packed. This is the ice. Okay, uh, now... I'm just gonna attach a clock to this thing real quick. Why buy a house in Calgary instead of PG? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. It's just because it's like a slightly bigger city, but also whenever I want to go anywhere, I have to fly into Vancouver first and get up at like 4 a.m. And it's miserable. There's like slightly more to do, but also it's mostly due to travel and like... If I ever want to go back to school just for fun. I think the school is technically better as well. Yo, what is up? Nothing much. I very... Calgary might be the worst place ever. Didn't seem so bad when I was going around. How did you first get into Minecraft? Um, I remember it was the end of school when I was, um, like 14. It was, uh, it was in high school. And, uh, I remember I walked by, there was this really insufferable kid that, like, he was the type of person who was, like, who would just argue for the sake of arguing. He was really annoying. But I remember he was on his laptop and there was a bunch of people crowded around. And I was like... Why are a bunch of people crowd around him? No one wants to be around him. And um, he was playing this game where he 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 was he had he was climbing this ladder down underground, and there was this skeleton and a spider attacking him, and and uh, he ended up like fighting it off, and then he went back up to the surface, and he showed us the house that he built, and like a little platform that he was digging around underground, and I was like, this is amazing. This is the coolest game I've ever seen. And then I didn't have internet, so I couldn't have the game. So I, I imagined building stuff on graph paper while I was in school. I designed stuff on graph paper for like weeks until I finally got the game. And then made nothing of what was on the graph paper because I realized it wouldn't work. But it, I ended up making like an underground tree farm and oh, it was so good. It was the best. You're welcome for influencing you to get Minecraft. Thanks. But was it you? Was it really you? If so, I apologize for insulting you so bad. I'm sure you're better now. What about the nice stone farm? Um, we need smooth stone and we don't have any auto smelters set up yet. Why not the cobble generator? We don't need cobble, we need smooth stone. And this is like the fastest, easiest way to get it. Are you good at Minecraft? I am awful at Minecraft. Horrendous. There's like actually nothing that I can do in it. I, re I just don't know what I'm doing at all times. It's quite embarrassing really. Um, yeah, okay. I think we're ready to make the clock. Bruh, pistons don't slide items even when blocks attached? I don't believe it. I gotta see this for myself. I've never, I don't know. I let, This is why I'm, I'm learning, you know? I guess we don't need this anymore, huh? This little bottom section isn't really necessary. Do, do, do. Oh, that's... I'm 
sucked up by the hoppers. Ready for it to get spat out right there? Wait for it. Maybe it was already spat out. Bleh. <laughs> Okay. That's not an acceptable item. What the hell do you think you're doing? All right. Um. Have you died yet? No. 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 Of course not. Come on. Um. Did I not bring... I can do a lever still. Right? Really? Huh. You can't make a lever with blackstone. I'm so new every day. Did, is that... Oh, well, it's gone forever, I guess. You know what? I'm just gonna make repeaters. I'm just gonna have a, a little push thing here. Okay, found about you through YouTube. You love the content. I'm glad you like it. Uh, I just realized there is a slight, very slight design flaw with this. Um, I do need to add another block like so. Okay. Then we just need to activate this. Why no boots? I don't need them. Is there like a button that I can push? That'll work. I have so much trash in my inventory, man. Don't need string, whatever. Okay. Time to find out if this works. Ow, my legs. I have no idea whether it works or not. But that's why we're testing. It does not work. Hmm. Partially, it no, it doesn't work. Do slime blocks work? A slime block would work. Okay. But how do you? Because there's... I probably have to surround this with... Use water to flow into the ice. Genius. The brain waves on this. No, I kind of need that one, actually. Um, no, I still need that obsidian. Okay, and then I'd need another ring of obsidian, basically. How would we, like... I don't understand how that would work, though. Because... It would still go over the ice. How did some go, your drops go off the end? Some of them pop out with momentum. Move the ice down a layer one? Well then... Hmm. Yeah, wait. I'm gonna... Do, we'll, we'll, we'll try something. Give me a sec. I have a few ideas. I should go on the stone chest.
Okay. We have our slime blocks. We need our obsidian. Hopper minecart under the ice. I don't think you understand what we're trying to go for here. It's fine if the slime touches the glass. We're about to find out. Move the ice down. Yeah, so the items can't reach the piston. Good idea. I, I, what am I doing? Okay, I'm just gonna test to see if it can... I don't exactly know how slime blocks work. I'm not super familiar with slime blocks. Got it. Okay, that's very annoying. Um... So we're gonna hope that the items go through this, I guess. Yep. And then what's on top? Alright, let's turn this bad boy on and see what happens. I wanna see him freaking being launched out of the side here now. Ow. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, okay, we gotta get some extra gold. That's probably enough. Okay. Let's see. Items are- Oh my god! <laughs> it really pushes them out, huh? Now there is a problem, not all of them get pushed over. There is enough force for the ones that stop, and yet some of them are falling into the hoppers. That's so funny. Wait, why are some of them falling into the hoppers? Maybe they're falling down there? A shorter pulse, just like a. But here, there, there is still a problem, right? So let's say the um. Let's say they come up with a piston right here. If the piston is right there, they pop out there. So. Uh. So what we're trying to do right now is we're gonna try and send all of these over. And then send them over again so they can be sucked up by hoppers. Um. We could try a system of multiple hopper minecarts feeding into each other. But, like, the amount of items that this produces is five or six hopper lines worth. So we need a- f if we're gonna put these in hoppers, we need six lines of hoppers going that way. And yeah, this is like, we can't just do six hoppers. <clears throat> I have another piston set up with the same clock that keeps the exit closed. Yo, that's, yeah, that's smart. I like that. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're clever. So we would need this 
here. And then... Basically, whenever this is on, that's off. So we just need like a redstone torch. You know, let's just make it ready to the sword. There we go. Yeah, good. Is that... Really? I thought it didn't go through glass. That's weird. Oh. No, we can't do that. We can't do that because of the... Uh, the slime block picks it up. Uh Wait, does Is there are there any moving blocks that don't stick to slime? Someone say glazed terracotta, honey? Why did people say glazed terracotta? Glazed terracotta can be pushed but not pulled? Doesn't get pushed by slime blocks. At least Terracotta doesn't move, but also doesn't stick. Um, could we do honey? I guess it's just honey would also stick. Honey would stick to the sides. Honey works like. Yeah, we'd need. We actually even have any? Yeah, it would the honey would get stuck to the glass. <laughs> you have villagers, you can easily get glazed terracotta. I'll show you why glazed terracotta won't work. So that needs to be sealed shut. And then it needs to basically, like, retract. This is sealed shut. And then... This has to... If we're on, like, the same tick, maybe. Could work. I'm just gonna get the glazed terracotta for people that are saying glazed terracotta to show them you're wrong. So you stop talking. Use bedrock, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I think it got stuck to it because of bad timing. Yeah, it could be. Honey, what's with the ice? I mean, we can just surround it with. Like, I, I'm fine surrounding it with more obsidian. Like, obsidian isn't an issue anymore because we can just trade for it instantly. Like, it's not really that big of a concern. Uh-huh.
Okay, so yeah, first off, let's put this in place and show you why you're wrong with that. No. Ow! Look up a tutorial, you're overcomplicating things. Uh, let's try again. Look up a tutorial, you're learning? What? Uh. Oh, wait, I'm getting a phone call. This could be important. Yo, I just got an update that the one the one of the houses where they, you know, went a hundred and ten thousand dollars over the listing price. Yeah, that fell through and I could have that one now if I really wanted to. But that was my number two and I currently have an offer in for my number one house. So, you know, I, I was like, you know, just wait and see if I really need to. It's not necessarily confirmed or anything, but. You know, why did that not... Hello? Is this... I swear this is supposed to work. Is something backwards? Oh, it is backwards. I'm an idiot. What? Why is... Wait, why is this piston extended right now? What's powering it? I am so thoroughly confused. Does this count as powering the block under it? I did not know that, if that is the case. Whoops, my bad. Uh, stop. I actually didn't know torches powered blocks under them. Or I probably did, but forgot, I guess. Okay, so, let's look at what happens when we retract the piston. Let's look what happens when we retract the piston. Nothing! Glazed terracotta. Can't be moved. So whoever was suggesting glazed terracotta. No. Bad. Just use trap doors. What? Can you... Can you slime blo Is that possible to... Attach a slime... A slime to... Open and close a trap door. Yeah, what if we just like... Trapdoor sticks to slime. Why don't we try this then? No, it would have to be like... It 
Is it because I'm occupying that block? Oh, I'm bad. No, it needs to be on the ceiling part. Nope. <laughs> Come on. One more try. Uh, Toss. I don't need spruce strap doors. If I do this, will that... No, that doesn't really work. Looks like it still pop out the side. And like if I do something like this, where it's like um, here, like I'm pretty sure this would grab that, right? Yeah, just grabs it. <clears throat> Don't use a slime block for the first pusher. How would that work then? You know what? Let let's just check. You know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna look at a YouTube tutorial and see if anyone else has a better solution because they 100% do. Um, moving items across ice nether Minecraft. Okay, nether item elevator. Okay, AD. Speak faster. This stone in it skips the first one of wood. Yeah. Then you'll dust to be okay. store final and red. Okay, he came up with the make sure that all of these like people elevators for items that you have got full source blocks right the way through there. But yeah, very much the easiest way to get items around is to use water stream and then to get items. Yeah, but what about the nether? Trying to move items up, you can use this drop elevator. Or a similar thing. Uh, and what this does is each of the droppers will pass the items through to the next one. Uh, so we'll just show here by putting the item. A drop elevator, yeah, great. This is quite a yeah, I'm gonna show you how to build edit it slightly so that so just may check that out. Um I there you go. They in fact Okay, it's just a drop or item elevator. No, I need it across ice. So we're not learning anymore. Shh. Minecraft item sorter. So have all of the hoppers locked in order to, you know, demonstrate. Oh. Hey, Uders, it's tough. We have a jab here. Welcome back. Yo. Another tutorial. Click on this one. It's not tutorial Tuesday, I know. But on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to set up an item sorter or an item sorter system. Chapman. That's right. I understand we're here in the overworld, but, um, yeah, I just don't want to deal with all the scary noises. Okay. The principle remains the same whether you are in the overworld or the nether. It doesn't really matter. You just can't use water in the nether. Now, these right here, these are the items that you are going to need. These are for the item sorters. So, however many item sorters you are building. Oh, I need honey blocks so and packed ice. Well, this right here is for the pusher system in order to get the items moving along. So, you need 50 for it. You need your builder blocks, spin slime ball. What we're going to do is we're going to make torches. Now, here, we'll need sorters per item because, yeah, they kind of jumble up and, yeah. So, now, in order to lock these hoppers, what you're going to do is you're going to put four items in the tail end here, so the back four slots, and then 41 of whatever item that you are going to want to sort. So, when we get over to the nether, we're going to be doing things like city and all of the items that you get from a bar drink, and you're not going to put anymore in the back half here, because that will end up having the signal bleed over into the next order. We're dedicated for blackstone. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our ice. We're gonna run it from the first hopper all the way down to the end. And then we're gonna extend it past the end here by three hoppers. And what that's going to allow us to do, that's going to allow us to turn the corner with our item sorters. Okay, right here, off of the end of this, so at the beginning of where our item sorters are, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run three pieces of obsidian. Mm -hmm. This is to be obsidian. And off of this back corner, we're gonna make a little path that is this little heart four. You should have right here. This is going to get a slime block. Have to use a redstone torch. What we need to do is we need this one to go forwards and back, and then this one forwards and back without these two things connecting. And the easiest way to do the two as well, so that way these do not interfere with each other. Okay. Now we, do is we need to go obsidian right here in between, obsidian on the other sides, like so. Got it. This is the little path where it's going to shoot things. Got it. Item in there. As you can see, it oh. up by the first one right here. So we can do that again. We'll just throw oh. the Oh. All line up along oh. Side. Okay. Have, have it make it do a 90 degree turn. turn. That's, That's so that. clever. Now what we need to make a shoot. So we need all the items to drop down right here in this one single block. Yeah. So it just goes into that block. The lower layer here has to be obsidian because slime does not stick to obsidian and if we use anything else well yeah it just ends up being weird we'll make a shoot out of glass for now so that way you guys can see it but i'll leave the lower half here out of obsidian so that way everything doesn't get Ooh. awkward Unlocked. now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna feed in our dropper this is gonna drop the no it comes shoot. from below so you're bad bouncing back and forwards which is perfect and now what i'm gonna do before i show you guys exactly how the system works is i'll fill up all of these items orders get the lock uh, so apparently i can exactly use a chest instead of those honey blocks each hopper has now been locked out so as you can see each of them has 41 and as you can see only the items i should probably put a blocker here at the end hang on only uh, the items end up down here at the end are the items that do not have a sorter organized and set up for them. So the, the thing about this is that we're not using a dropper and so we're gonna have an insane amount of items so probably what we'll have to do is like snake it over like five different passes 
all gonna be ending up in their very first chest uh, as they do go by, and all of your items are ending up down here in this little back corner and kind of building up. Now this is perfect because as you can see, we don't need any more honey blocks than the two that are here. So now in order to turn the corner here, what we need to do is we're, so we're gonna put this block, that block. The reason why we put these three here so that we can put the item sorter in place exactly as is and turn the corner. So now what we want to block get back, we're gonna bring it all the way and over top of this, the way to Oh, does it go in a circle? So you can carry this, so just reimagine one simple system that fires it all, end block, with all. Okay, so here we are in the nether, obviously. So here is the complete item sorting system set up, and oh. ready to go. So I have all of the hoppers locked. And yeah, we, we could probably just make the ice off, path a big like circle, like right? Grass blocks, load them up in here. <coughs> <coughs> see that of them make it down the line whenever they do get deposited. And there we go. So you can see they do get caught up in the system. So okay. The sort of does work. The items are passing over the hoppers. You don't need a, you need a beehive. It just takes a while. Yeah, a pretty sweet little system. Sometimes they like to spit out, so that's why you're going to want to make sure that you completely surround this thing with whatever material you're bringing in order to stop the items from having a little heyday and springing out. But that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. Yeah, I think it would probably be better instead. <sighs> hmm. We can't send them back and forth because the hoppers can't keep up. We would have to have them, like, snake through. Like, like an S-shape, basically, I think. And then all of those probably feed into, like, a chest system. Throw away the ones... Yeah, if, if we only have one hopper line, you realize we're throwing away 20... We're throwing away 80% of the items that we get traded. A merry-go-round for items. If it's a continuous square, it should work. No, because, like, we get so much material. I don't think that would work. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. Figure, I'll think about it for a second. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. And I think I come up with a solution, right? I think it would probably work if, um... Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, we definitely need to turn this 90 degrees, and then we can shoot it over that way. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking, right? <clears throat> ah, it's tough. You can use a non-slime block and use a piston that blocks the exit and it will work. Just don't get a speed boost from the slime. Yeah. Sorry, there was food outside as well. What are you eating? It's like taco salad or something. But yeah, what we can do... Once they pop up, we definitely need to have them turn 90 degrees. I think we're 100% going to do that 90 degree turn in there. But we need a, a system that can suck up and process that many items that quickly. So, here's what I'm thinking, right? What we can do is... We can just test... How many hoppers it takes to suck up everything so nothing is missing, but it's going to be weird because, yeah, it will come in, like, certain items might come in bursts as well. We could feed them just back and forth. That could be an option. Because what I was thinking was essentially back and forth, but you can use additional hoppers to suck up items. You could have it snake downwards. Mm-hmm. One idea that I had as well, love the mixing bowl, I didn't want to have to go for two trips. Here's my idea. What we do is, inside of every second or third block, we put a hopper minecart. They can suck up items faster than everything else, right? <clears throat> so every, like, maybe third block, a hopper minecart, sucks up items. And we maybe have six, so it's, I don't know, 18 blocks long, or however long it can be shot. Maybe every two blocks in that case. Right? And so, every every second block is a hopper minecart. It travels, it, it goes across six of them. And we have a system that just knocks them back and forth like this. Right? And eventually everything will get picked up. Guaranteed with six hopper minecarts. Honestly, it would probably work with like three. Um, but... I think we'll just need six hopper minecarts. And then... Um, we can basically make six sorting systems in parallel. That all feed into like a storage system. Because sorting systems are, are brain dead. They're, they're easy. They're so simple. I think that would work. If you make six parallel sorting systems, you might as well have six sorting slices on the same ice line. Hmm. 
Yeah. The one thing I don't want to have to deal with is items existing as items for a super long amount of time, because, like, more can go wrong. <clears throat> you don't need parallel systems, just one hopper for eyes, three for something more common, etc. You know what, that's true, actually, yeah, we don't need parallel systems. And we do have the ratios of everything. <clears throat> Here. Here is the, the ratios that were put in the thing. Um. Yeah, wait a minute. We would need, um. <clears throat> Here we go. One hopper for fire charges. One hopper for obsidian. Eight hoppers for enchanted books? No, that doesn't sound right. We might have to do this in creative really quick. Okay. I guess I... Do I need to build it in the nether? Yeah, I probably should. Enchanted books don't stack? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Alright, packed ice. Um, packed... Packed ice. We'll need slime blocks. We'll need sticky piston with that timing. Uh, okay. But yeah, we're gonna yeet out all the enchanted books and... All the unstackable stuff we're going to yeet out, except for the fire potions. The fire resist potions we're going to sort out somehow. <clears throat> okay, obsidian. Or, you know, let's use glazed terracotta. It'll look prettier. Boom, okay. Do you like to practice the build in creative? This is complicated enough that we basically just have to do it in creative first. Um, so the items will pop out here. Yeah, the items will, will pop out here or here. We're gonna need a slime here, here. Okay. Nice vanilla. I don't know what you mean. by that. You can use brewing stands to sort the fire resistance potions? Yeah, I believe someone did tell me that. Okay, we need a chest as well. Decoration blocks, just a regular chest. Good. We'll just do double chest here. Too much blocks, gross. What? What do you mean? Okay, so yeah, blocks will get, the items will get pushed into that, and then this is just all ice. I believe that'll work. Blocks in Minecraft? Why is he in creative? I'm not in creative. I've become God. Some people. Uh, glass... Like I said, I'm taking it to its freaking limits. You guys weren't listening. <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to make like a very rudimentary sorting system here. Um, I literally just have to... How far does this get pushed? Let's find out. I just gotta, I gotta know how far this gets pushed. Which phase was becoming God again? Any phase I want. 
because I'm already good at news. Um, let's just figure out how many hoppers it takes to absorb everything if we're doing max capacity trading. Let's see, where does it pop out? Uh, items need to come up right here. So we're gonna go bam, 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 bam. Okay. Whoops. And so we're just gonna put a bunch of 24 piglins in here, basically. <clears throat> Good. Whoop. I hate that we have to build this. It to suck. Okay, we don't need that. Um, yeah, we have the dropper below, and then we're just gonna jam blocks into them. And the dropper activates at max speed. Okay. I believe we just do the same method as before, where it's just a simple... One there, and then it goes, it's on repeater, uh, and then, you know, into the target block. And then the rest is all filled up. Okay, now we need to place 24 piglins in there. Piglin, piglin spawn egg. Oh, there's children in there. Whatever. The children are about to perish. Okay. That was the wrong... Okay, it just kept going, huh? One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm trying to just match the number of piglins we got. Uh, okay. 20, 21, 22, Stop giving me children! If I wanted children, I'd make them. popped out. Everybody out. You're done. 
You did that. You caused all of their deaths. They could have lived in, in peace and harmony with the world. But now I gotta replace all the piglins. Slash summon. <clears throat> D four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four,
Bam, bam. Easy. Frick, it's too full. Chest. Trap chest, sure. Sounds good. Okay, we're gonna go bam, bam. That'll work. Good. Go for it. And they send up their items. Would you look at that? Amazing! Woo! I wonder how many aren't trading. Yeah, anyways, that'll just funnel items up directly into there. Good. Turn it to subtract the mode. You think? Wow. It is the same. That's so crazy. Ah. <sighs> That's fine. We'll leave it like that. Okay, now we just need to get the timing for them to shoot across. And all we need to do is figure out how long this needs to be to accept all of these items. That's literally it. Because, I mean, there's a lot of items. Like, I jump in here in, in survival mode. It's quite a lot. One day, this yak will be shaved. One day. But yeah, let's just, um... I'm gonna turn this off real quick. Um... Yeah. That'll screw up, but whatever. Now... <clears throat> oh my god, wait. Can we actually do the super fast? This is the same speed, is it not? Yeah, that's just the same speed. But were they actually able to do that double speed? I could have more hoppers going in. It's just out of curiosity. Out of curiosity, just to see if they could handle it. Because it would be cool if they could handle double speed. If it's too fast, we'll see the gold start to rise. A little too fast. Yeah. Okay, let's let's calm down now. Let's calm down. Be cool. All right, you could recycle the gold. I could feed the gold back. I absolutely could feed the gold back cuz how much gold did we get here? 49. I don't know. <clears throat> Best way to do a trading farm is just chuck and grab. Yep. So I'm gonna open up that tutorial one more time, so just for the timing. Thing, but it's so straightforward. Let's get it first. Run three of them down. 
Yeah, I want the timing. Yeah, just show me the show me the timing. Okay, this is what it looks like. Gotcha, boss. Uh huh. So I just need to look at the uh, the picture. Apparently, it goes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a sticky piston with another sticky piston. Okay. So we need a solid block here. And a solid block to the side of this. Basically, just let me let me look at this from a better angle, because this is kind of a very awkward thing. Um Alright, so we need to make a little platform. Yeah, we're trying to make the, the piglin trading facility, but it's kind of complicated moving around items in the nether, like, when there's a lot of them. Redstone repeater. Okay. Oh, that's not good at all. That's just an open block. Right here. Yeah, so, let's see, this design... It's this here, that there, facing that way, this one, that way, here. This is the funkiest clock I've ever seen, man. Minecart hopper, I don't know. Is this the type of flying machine? No. the hell? Oh, is there a block of... When that's extended, it's there. When that's extended, it's there. What am I doing wrong? This is... What is this clock? I have no idea, dude. Um, okay, so there goes a block here. Redstone dust here. Here. Twenty-four gold to spend in six seconds. I don't know how to do that though. That's at the one tick, and then this goes across, like so. Make sure you're not swapping the pistons. No, this seems right. The first one is to align it. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, wait, this is mirrored. Oh, my God. Okay, so wait, if this is... If this is a mirror, that's so confusing. Bam, 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 bam. They can trade four gold per second? Can they? My terracotta? Pretty or obsidian. Hello? There we go. Hmm. Okay. So if I did a mirror this, then it's Hmm. Hmm. Bomb. Bam. That's not right. I am so thoroughly confused. Don't the slime blocks move the terracotta? Yep. This block is one on the other side. This one is the one. I'm going towards it. Okay. And there's this here. This goes out there. 
then redstone dust here that points into this piston. What? No, it has... Wait, is it further... Where did the items come up? The items come up here. I need to move everything over then, don't I? Mmm. Thoroughly confused. I do not understand. Uh, do you think this will be another late stream? Ah, uh, no. I got four hours of sleep last night. It will definitely not be a super late stream. You got a second slime block? No, I'm gonna follow the directions exactly. Okay, so the blocks come here. Both of them should be facing inwards. Each sticky piston is going to get. It. Okay, so there has to be a sticky piston here that pushes them to align them here, and then there is a sticky piston here that will push it out. Okay, this is correct, right? One, two, three, okay, good. So now if I mirror this in my head, place that there, place that there. There's redstone that goes from here to here. No, what the heck? There's redstone that goes from here to here. And then it turns 90 degrees into that. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere. And then this one, the one on the side, feeds out, I think, or does it feed in? It must feed in. It goes boom, 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 boom. Uh, I think that's it. And then we just surround it, literally everything else with all the good stuff. Okay. I just want to bet items pop out right there. Maybe not, but I think they will. Yeah, this design won't quite work unless... Good. They do just move the block back, yeah. Okay, so I think we can turn this on so now. Replace down a temporary block here with two honey blocks in front of it, like so. Yeah. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to activate these things, and it's a little finicky. We have to use a redstone torch. What we need to do is we need this one to go full. No. It pulls out of the way. Oops. Right. The redstone signals. Then off the back corner. We're gonna... So now what we want to do is we want okay, to. What the heck are you doing? In front of it, like so. Redstone back. Redstone, redstone torch it. It's one single block. Okay. First one on the other side, like so. That way these do not interch. Remove it. And at the back. And then this one forward and back. What we need to do is we need to activate these things, and it's a little finicky. We have to use a redstone torch. What we need to do is we need this one to go forwards and back, and then this one forwards and back. Without these two things connecting, and the easiest way to do that is to just place down a redstone torch. Remove it. And as you can see, we get our nice little stagger here. This is why we have the timing set up the way they are too. As well. Okay. Here we go. All right, I mean, I, we're ready to test, I guess. Let's see how many items we can get. Time to find out. All right, I guess we probably don't want glass along this. We want it open so it can run along the top. Yeah, we probably want it open. <laughs> Alright, screw it. Full send. Go! Does this work? The items... Where did they go? I literally never saw them. What? Also, where's all the gold? Hello? Why is the dropper not turning on? 
Am I missing something? That is not working. Maybe I have to have honey blocks? Let's try honey blocks. Like that one doesn't get absorbed. That one doesn't work. That one doesn't get absorbed. Yeah, they're not going far enough over. That one's way over on the right. <laughs> Hoppers are full. They're absolutely not full. Only the ones that are close are full. You're in creative mode, bruh. Ah, I'm glad you passed the, uh, the, 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 I, I'm glad you can see. Yeah. It's just too unpredictable. So here's a, here's what I'm going to do instead. Alright? Here is my solution. <clears throat> I'm going to turn this off real quick. Alright. Our ender chest a bit thinner. Yeah, I don't think it's really going to help all that much. I'm going to be honest. We're going to do my solution. Okay, here is what I am thinking. We just let it run down this, and we just catch everything. Right? You guys know what I'm about to do, right? We're gonna go bam, rail, uh, hopper minecart, bam, 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 okay. You already know. We, I mean, I, this has to be on a hopper, but this is just a temporary test, basically. You don't need the corner launcher. Yes, I do, because um, sometimes they pop out and move left. So we need the 90 degree turn here if we want that to work. So we'll need here, here, here. Regular piston. Okay. Wait, did I get missed a line somewhere along the way? No? Okay. Why does it need an ice catwalk? We need to suck up the items in a consistent way, and this is the best way that we could find out. Alright. But this should work, right? I don't see why this wouldn't. There's no, like, creatures interacting with it. And that was the biggest issue, was creatures interacting with it before. Um, and yeah, I don't have any hoppers underneath, and I think... Oh. Hog. Creative mode is the best. <clears throat> Damn it. Okay, we'll replace that one. 
And I think it's one more. I just want to see if they can absorb it at the right rate. Okay. Just gonna grab a regular chest. Because this is one hopper line, obviously, so they won't absorb it all. Valheim music? Yep. Yeah, totally Valheim music. Gotta love that Valheim, huh? Okay, which one fell? This one fell. Yeah, I'm in creative because we're making something rather complicated and we're gonna save literal hours of screwing around if we just figure out how to make it properly. Like this, rather than... Oh, I forgot to destroy the track, dude. Do you have siblings? Nope. None of that. No thank you. My parents had me and said, we can't do better. Okay. Time for the test. Turn this bad boy on, see what happens. Sir, hello. Trading mechanism wasn't working, my bad. Okay. Oh, something flew out the back there. How? Okay. Uh, we'll make the clock different. Because they're clearly popping out the back. But, the ones that are going over, all of them are being captured. I'm pretty sure these are going to be backed up. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Huh. No, that is weird right there. Why did that randomly stop? Right? That's funky. Yeah, obviously we're gonna need a few. Yeah, and it's... It is completely full, so we're probably gonna have a bunch of individual chests, rather, where it's like something like, uh... Here's what I'm thinking. Because I believe six is the the amount that like the golden amount. Potion of fric <laughs> friction resistance. <laughs> Good one. All right, cause like we'll do. Oops. <clears throat> bam, 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 bam. Now, let's just imagine these are each, um, sorting systems, basically. And then we can just go bam, bam, bam. Stuff is flying out the back, and I hate that. It looks like it's mostly flying out right here, which is the biggest issue. So let's stop that. Let's just cut these out. I'm confused. Why are we in creative? Uh, you're you're really outing yourself right now that you've never built anything complicated in Minecraft. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, so let's see where the pistons are, are exposed. And we're gonna have to have basically that same clock, but like, not terrible. Okay, so the way it worked was, I believe it's just two like this, bam, bam. Um, yeah. Yeah, instead of wasting our time and resources in survival, we're doing it in creative first. That's the idea, at least. Um... Well, so that way these do not interfere with each other. Yeah, show me, show me from above. Show me from above. Okay, good. This is just the most basic clock. So it goes here. Uh, if it's in, wait, in this direction. Sure. Uh, this is... Probably goes in this direction then. One, two, three. Bam, blah, blah, blah. Bam, blah, blah, blah. Bam. And then it's just... Okay, that's literally it. I'm a little confused as to why that didn't continue. Is that not powering this block, or...? What? Anyways, uh, let's get back to it. Alright, have some fun. seems slower. Why is that slower? Maybe not. Anyways. Did I forget to con- Oh, I- f <laughs> That could be an issue. Okay, are any items flying out? Or escaping? Well, that just doesn't make any sense, does it? Touch the repeater, did I? I did. <clears throat> How about you stop? No! Wait, what? Is the piston too far forwards? What? Did I accidentally move the piston forwards or something? Uh... That makes more sense as to why that was doing that. I shouldn't do that now. Oh, god damn it. Okay, it looks like there still is an, an issue with the items just getting thrown out the back. <laughs> Which is very uncool. I'm trying to think how the hell we solve this problem. How do we solve this problem? I know what's happening. I know exactly what's happening. When the slime block is retracted, it's taking up the block that they pop up, right? Or, sorry, when it's extended. And they're choosing to go into the empty space that's closest to them, which is underneath the piston, the underneath the, the air with the piston head. Um, so, we need another slime block? We 
You need an empty block on top of the slime block? Oh, you mean this one right here? Like, it's very obvious what's happening. Right there. Right there. That's what's happening. What if we just made it taller? Shouldn't air above the pistons fix it? I don't know. Oh. Something went wrong here. Yep. Thought so. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Okay. I just have to remake this entire section. You played too much Minecraft? No. Clearly not enough. I don't know how the heck to do these things. Okay, so now they're getting caught on the edge here. Maybe that was just temporary? <clears throat> Maybe that was just temporary. We'll see. Clint's friend, thanks for the five subs. popped out. Looks like that's... Huh. Yeah, I guess we could just put a hopper minecart right there. You think I need just one place above the slime blocks? There was already one place above the slime blocks, though. It literally still happened. Were you not watching? Here's your one space above the slime blocks. And they're getting kicked out the back still. Okay. How do we grab these items that are rising up this hill and put them somewhere else without them getting out of this? The hopper behind? No, that's not gonna work. Surround the piston completely. It is surrounded. eating it's like a taco salad hmm double slime block could work it could we'll try that literally just need to remove this. You sure? I'll trust you. 
I'm trusting you, don't make me regret it. You're saying no block nothing will pop out back here now? Wow. It doesn't fix anything. Here is my next best idea. Does this work? Oh no. Uh, mm hmm. We'll go. Bam. Bam, bam. That'll work. How? It's even more consistent now. It's like everything, half of it just pops out the backside. <clears throat> I think you placed a normal piston. Did I? It's crazy. It looks sticky to me. Oh, wait. What? Wait a minute. It might have just been that the timing was wrong. Pause champ. No, never mind. It's still screwed. Still screwed. Take advantage of it popping out the back. No! Alright, better solution that is also kind of cool looking. Um, what if... So, hear, hear me out, right? We get rid of all these stupid mechanisms. How hard is it to push a mine... I'm thinking we fill this pillar with hopper minecarts, right? And then we just somehow need to empty the hopper minecarts. Because what we could do is like put a hopper minecart. Okay, could you guys chill a little bit? Thanks. Because <clears throat> the hoppers could exist within, like, this block, right? So we could put a hopper minecart, like, kind of halfway here. And then right below it, we could put one in this block fully. And then right below it, put it halfway here. And then I think we have enough space where the items wouldn't pop out. Because, yeah, a hopper at the top of the tower means items get stuck below. Um, because... Hopper minecarts all the way down, but then they would feed into the dropper. Would they, though? Is it possible to push the piglin into a hopper in their bottom half? Uh, hopper minecarts only put items in, they don't push items out. Yeah, they would push down. So basically what would happen is the items would come up from below and it would suck it right as they pass. TJ Strings, thanks for the five. Actually, yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute, someone just came up with like a actually decent idea. Wait a second. 
do hopper minecarts pick up an item if they're just like traveling around in the area because we could just do like a circle like just hopper minecarts just driving around above right Because literally all we would need to do is just have a nice little 3x3 three three circle. And just have a hopper minecart or like a bunch of hopper minecarts. That just like... Uh-huh. Upper mine cart, upper mine cart, upper mine cart. Uh, and I mean, this could be like some. We could just have hoppers on the side somewhere. But where is the water gonna fit in? I've been thinking about that for a long, long time. No! Where are you going? Right? Right? You see what see what we're doing here? Frick. This is solved in the Oh my god. Do we actually do something here? Is it bad to have multiple hopper minecarts on a on a path? <laughs> yeah, cuz what we could do is have like hopper minecart unloading stations. Looked away, what is this? It's the way we're gonna get our items. Yeah, because what we'll probably want instead of this... What we'll probably want to do is just have them... kind of running in a circle. in like a loop. They can't take turns though, right? So they'd have to rail there and then, I don't know, we could just power rail everything. Obviously there's better ways to do this. I am aware. What? Oh, right. Mine cards. You know, you go up, you turn. Boom, boom, bam. And I mean, we have enough gold that we can do this just fine. And then you just chuck some freaking block of redstone in there. And, uh... Off to the races, I guess, huh? Does this ever get stopped? Be careful with power on the hoppers? Yeah, I mean... Wait, does... Does this powered turn off the hoppers? No, it doesn't. What's what do you mean the bud then? You made a temporary stop on purpose? No, that's clearly deliberate, okay? Pfft. 
The corner is so janky. No, they stop at the corner, okay? It's just called good design. This could work. I mean... I mean... No packed ice nonsense. No piston nonsense. That'll work. I mean, we'll need... Is this getting filled? Oh, it's because these are... Uh... It seems like the big limiting factor... The big limiting factor are these... Are these... Also, look at this movement. This sh movement, dude. You see some items under the rail? Yeah, well that's because the carts are full because they can't empty fast enough. Right? Like, we, we literally, we can't pick them up fast enough. And that's the closest air, so they just camp out there. Like... Oops. Like, they still pick up items. It's just not a lot of them. Because everything is full now. So right now... We're still limited by just hopper speed, I think, in general. Which means we're gonna probably need multiple sorting systems. Add more hoppers along the track or slow down the carts. Yeah, we don't need any gaps between hoppers now. You need to sort out the non-stackables? No, that happens later. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, you can see right now that these items are still being collected. Oops. My bad. Oh, that might cause issues. How did that get out there? But yeah, we'll, we'll need to make a safer loop that's significantly less aggressive, clearly. Um, we'll probably have to do like a, a loading and unloading station, I'm thinking. How difficult is it to make a, a unloading station and a loading station? Because we could have like a loading station right here. It waits until it's full. And then they go and it does it. Because <clears throat> I think they're fast enough to suck up stuff. They're easy and cheap. Yeah, there we go. Minecraft hopper minecart unloading unloading station they are very slow are they very slow though oh my god mumbo jumbo 2013 that can't be good how's it going everyone my name is blizzard and welcome to the micro tutorial today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to build a hopper micro unloading station before we get started though i want to ask you guys to check out my site okay channel, yeah i don't care I'm here for the tutorial. Power when it's not unloading. And then we can put a block here and okay. unpower this rail until all the diamonds get taken out. And then you'll see it'll unpower and the signal will loop back around and it'll power again and it'll send off. And that's really all you need to do. So once again, wait, what? You'll see it'll unpower this, it'll loop it around, it'll invert it and unpower this rail until all the diamonds get taken out. And then you'll see it'll and it powers this, it'll loop it around. Okay. 
Uh, they're speedrunning tutorials. Hopper minecarts don't push, so the hopper below them limits the speed. Okay, so what you're telling me is that we're maxed out at hopper speed for them. I mean, in that case, what we could do then is we just don't need an unloading station. Let me just remake this real quick. We're just going to go... Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. I have to destroy some redstone here. Is this just better than a station then? Just a... A line of, of chaos hoppers? Uh, I figure out how to make powered rails, but I don't think that'll be an issue. So what we can do is just have powered rails along the top for it to speed up, and then it just gradually slows down as it goes around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. So the last chest. It's true, I did. You are correct. <clears throat> oh, true. You know what? That would be really smart. You know what we could do? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. This would allow us to split them up as well. I'm just going to delete all of these. We're going to go bam, bam. Love your streams. I'm glad you like them. Sorry, love them, I guess. It's a bit of a stronger word. Okay, so I'm glad we tested all this nonsense beforehand because this will save us so much time. Boom, boom. Yeah. And then we don't ever have need to go up. We can just have them go here. Uh, detector rails. Or, sorry, not detector rails. But these can just go across. Okay. You know what? That's fine. On each side, we can just have, like, a really chill piece of that would block that off so probably here yeah and that's where the turn goes on four you just have boom 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 if you put a hopper minecart on top of four hoppers, you can do that at much faster speeds. Is that how fast they can go? A hopper minecart can suck out at four times the speed of a regular hopper? Is that the, uh, the official calculations? Actually, I might deliberately slow it down. That might be a good thing to do, right? Deliberately give it an unpowered rail so it slows down. Probably just want to use normal rails. We definitely need a backup in case something like this happens. Where, um... Alright, so you're telling me if one hopper minecart can fill four of these, that means for every four of these we can have one hopper minecart. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, let's have three. So six. <coughs> Unpowered basically stops it. Yeah, that's the idea. <clears throat> Bless you. Thank you. Uh, we might want to have this uh, some kind of a containment area Just so they can't fall out quite as much And then same here where it maybe goes up a little bit. I'm gonna just keep it like that though Yeah, let's try that we're gonna try that My bad. Okay. Bomb. Okay. Three, four. Five. Six. It'd be nice to guarantee... Yeah, that, that doesn't happen. That's the one thing that I'm concerned about, is all of the... is the minecarts getting turned around at one point. <clears throat> hmm. And there's no way to destroy them and pick them back up. Take this bump out? I have to keep it. Okay, well, let's just keep the bump. Let's take the bump out and just see what happens. I'll show you why that bump is there. Alright, I'll, I'll show you why that's necessary. Here we go. Bam. Perhaps not having a slope would help. Perhaps you're wrong. All right, one more is the max capacity, I believe. Why is it getting caught here? Is it the blocks? Hmm. I might need to add redstone blocks right here and here. To keep them going a little bit. Oh. No. Why is that happening? <laughs> okay, that's working. Wait, why is there only five? I am confused. Could make it wider as well. I suppose I could. Yeah, two of them merged, which is interesting. Alright, we'll see how this works. I think, the, yeah, they're clipping into the blocks, but... If we don't... If we have that, then... Yeah, the reason why we have that is because they'll pop out here. The items will... Maybe if we just add a roof and something to block them from moving too far. Let's see. Every pass? Is it picking up the items? I think it's getting everything every pass. Holy crap! This stupid hopper minecart strategy might actually work. It is so dumb, but it... I think it's working? <laughs> How evenly is this being distributed? Actually, super evenly distributed, too. <laughs> How dumb is what they're literally made for? I mean, it's just... 
hopper minecarts are such a... They, they, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. This is really cool. And it's not missing any op items. It's picking up every single one on the way by. <laughs> Is the first one getting backed up? Maybe? There's a chance. I don't know. And that's the thing. I want to let it run. Because it seems like when they go back, they're actually not empty yet. Yeah. Try adding more carts. I don't think it's a cart issue. It's probably we need more chests issue. I think we just need more hoppers is the big thing. Right? They can pick up a stack at a time? Really? I had no idea they could pick up a stack. They pick up an entire item entity. That's insanity. Okay. I'm looking at the first minecart after it's picked up its first load. Yeah, actually, let's check. Okay. Yeah, definitely seems like they're not emptying. Quickly enough. Okay. Alright. Now, here's the thing. What's stopping us from having dedicated hoppers for every single item to sort it at hopper speed? Because we know the rates of everything, right? So in theory, we should be able to just calculate exactly how much it should be producing, right? And just have a an individual, like, the sorting machine is literally right here. And this is what feeds the sorting machine. Right? That could work. Would it make some of the items feed in super slow? I guess, yeah. But, I mean, they'll feed in super slow, but there's only one of them. Like, they're already rare. Stacks of blocks are a really big problem, but we already know the ratios. So, like, big stacks of blocks, we would have, like, eight hoppers in a row that accept that one type of block. Right? Unstackable items would be rough. Yeah, unstackable items would just go into one. Or, like, one area. Are you committed to minecarts? I think having pistons push items horizontally off the item elevator can work. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick to scream. <clears throat>
I'm back. Anybody think of any creative solutions? <clears throat> it's really weird. Because all of these items are still getting picked up, right? It's so strange that all of the items are getting picked up. Like, if it was- if the system was backed up, right? Then items would be left behind. So... Use water? Oh my god, how did no one think of this? We could have been using water the entire time, just- Just put it everywhere and it works great! Anyways, um... Yeah, and it's all split pretty evenly, right? Like, aside from the first chest, which will obviously get a few more, like, what we can do is probably, like, the first chest is its own designated thing. And then... They, they do get basically exactly even the further you go. Like, they all almost have the exact same amounts, which makes sense, because, you know, they're going forwards one way and back the other. Other than that one. New slime blocks and ice? Yeah, it doesn't work that way. It does not work. Yeah, the first couple get more unstackables. Which is fine, you know? Um... Yeah, and then from here, what we'll probably end up doing is we'll split this into... How many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Uh... 12. This is gonna cause some problems. We could do... Something like that. The one thing I am concerned about is the cart stopping for some reason. <clears throat> that is my one concern. But yeah, I thought this was Skyblock. Yeah. Yeah, it is Skyblock. We're trying to figure out how to build a piglin testing facility, kiddo. But yeah, this basically indicates this will work. They merged? I don't think so. No. Okay, they're all good. From here, what we'll do is... We'll probably need to line these up into different sorting systems. There's a hopper that's locked. Very true. Very true. Yep. You are correct. Damn, they do be jumping the line, huh? You guys go away. I'm trying to build here. Thanks. Okay. They'll all end up in the same direction eventually. Yeah. Or not. Yeah, we can do that. Good. Okay. So what we'll probably end up doing... There's seven carts now. What happened? Why are they just stopping? Go away. Stop merging. You go this way. Are the items moving up? Uh, literal magic. Yeah, every pass it sucks up all of them. And then they get deposited into the... Into the hoppers. And everything does get deposited, and now we can sort of sort them a little bit better. So here's what I'm thinking. Because we do this. 
And, you know, now we have one potential sort of sorting system. Because I believe, based on our math, six sorting systems should be enough. And so what we do is we feed two chests into one line, right? And so that's what we'll do. We'll just go... Let me skyblock almost one year very close. Is we'll feed this into, like, this is one line of a sorting system, right? I would recommend getting as many hoppers out as you're putting in. I don't think we need to because they're not depositing into hoppers at max efficiency, right? Because you'll see that this one, it definitely does not get... Um, it seems like they're not sucking them all up now. Is that because they're stacked, do you think? Might be because stuff like this is full. Oh yeah, the chests are starting to fill up. Use a minecart with the furnace to keep pushing them, yeah. Yeah, it's because the carts are crammed. Is there a way that we can un make sure they don't never get crammed? Hope and pray. The hopper minecarts will get clogged up really fast if you use item sorters. No, they wouldn't get clogged up really fast. They only get crammed if you stop to change the system. Hmm. Or every single rail. I mean, that's not that hard. Also, wow, that is still going, huh? I think you should try a furnace cart. And power of the what? How much coal do we have in Skyblock? Like, zero. Yeah, I think we'll have to just dispense them evenly, but... I'm thinking what we could do, because they're not constantly being filled, like, it's not going full hopper speed, they're probably, each of these is only going at 50% efficiency, I bet. So, instead of having four, you know, these four, probably only equate to one hopper speed at, like, max speed. I would bet. And so, running each one of these through its own sorter system, and I think there is enough room... If we go, say, like, you know, a, uh, this is completely backwards. But if we do a full sorting system backwards, and then, you know, feed these, like, so... You know, and kind of stagger them like that. That would give enough room to actually fit the sorting systems. And uh, I think we and a simple test we could do is, like, we could literally just see if it gets clogged right here. Right? Just see if it gets clogged. See if... If this chest stays empty, then you know we're good. Day four? Are we past the 96 hour mark? Day. It's wild. Will the sorting system fit this wide? We might need to space them out slightly more, but you get the gist, right? This is It's pretty obvious how this is gonna how this is gonna line up.
Bam. Sorry if this is a common question. Why are you in creative mode? Um, It's okay. No, it is a common question. That's okay. So then this one goes here. And we'll see. I really hope this works so we can actually do it for real. And stop screwing around and testing because this has been significantly more painful than I expected with the unpredictability of the just awful piglin bartering garbage. So, I mean, this is what it would be. There would be four sorting systems. Um. I do have one idea that might be worth testing. It would require moving all, all the clints again. But, four. How many items do we have to move a second, right? We're... 24 piglins. Um, how fast is this hopper dispensing? Because, I mean, I hate it, but what we could do is do the stupid dispenser alignment in the corner. Like, um... Hmm. Here's my one idea that I have that I think will make all of this completely redundant. Here's here's the idea, right? Some people have said that you can move minecarts so they're on the corner of like a block, like in the center, like this. I don't know how to do that, but let's say we do that, right? We'll go bam bam Bam, bam. You just push them with your body? Okay. Here's a, a more consistent way to do that, probably. Can I real go on that? Nope. Here. Make it with the hopper. Will it fit in there, you think? Probably not, I bet. Is there any way to guarantee to line it up properly? Just break one pane and push it into the corner. Yo, I like your style. And like, what we could potentially do, and I don't necessarily want to do this, is we could have the piglins standing on this block right here. We would feed the piglins gold on a block that is completely inaccessible by all of this. And... This would dump out items at an insane rate. And all we would need are two hopper minecarts on the edge of this. Did that just center itself? What the hell? 
There's got to be a way that you can line this up so it's, like, never going to move. And you're, like, have peace of mind. Is 4x hopper speed enough? I believe we figured out that it's... For every gold ingot, on average, it takes about... It gives you... Uh, we're rounding six items. So, if we're chucking out items at full one hopper speed, we need six hoppers to accept it. Use chains? Centered in stairs. Two two stairs facing each other. Would that, would that fit? Hmm. You seem like they're just bigger than that hole. Just a tiny bit bigger. But maybe not. Maybe if we line it up perfectly, it'll fit. Oh! Wait a minute. Does this deposit into here? Oh my god. Uh, this is so sad. And it, like, it literally... It cannot escape this hole. It fills into these four. Um, we would need... More than that, though. Yeah, and we could we could seal it in by just putting yeah uh, slabs on top. Because there's gonna be piglins that are around it that are pushing it around, so we need to be very very certain that we don't mess that up in any way. Because, like, this wouldn't be quite right. I guess that works. That would still work. That would lock them in. Because what we would need is just lock them perfectly in place, all pretty. This is the magma farm all over again? Nah, the magma farm, we had a solution and we threw it away. This one, we've just been kind of winging it and trying to figure out how to do this at full speed. Try pushing one out? Oh, I will, but I'm going to push both of them in first. And yeah, it's pretty much you just you cannot push them out. And you know, we could get the the um We we don't have any blocks to absorb this actually. Be, again, we could just, you know, chest, 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 and then it's just, then we have eight going out. I don't know what help, but one piglin drops 3.3 thousand per hour and hoppers can move 9k per hour. We have nine 
We have 24 piglins in a hole. Hmm. So yeah, this would work, I think. Because yeah, for every minecart... <clears throat> The one thing now is how do you feed into these minecarts evenly? Like if you're standing on this block, if you put something there, the hopper minecart can't reach it. So they would the the piglins would have to be like standing right here basically. Fix the position of the slanted one by replacing it. Okay, how did that fix it? Um... <laughs> It'll fix itself. But yeah, these do feed into four things. Put 12 piglins in each hole. Yeah. In the corner. Well, the thing is, the corner would be... Like... Are solid blocks? The corner next to them... Would be like... I don't know. If they're standing in the center... Wait, if they throw items... Are they able to accept that they probably have to stand on slabs and stuff would get shot down from above, I guess? You probably have to do this. Make a little platform for them. Framey. Am I doing something? I don't know. Would an ice pickup loop with the sorting system do? No. No, we tried that. No, it has to be a bunch of hopper systems. Maybe the hoppers? And our sky block is not causing any lag. Okay, so let's say we have piglins standing. I mean, that doesn't work. But if you throw something there, it gets sucked up. That, this is the problem, right? The piglins would have to be standing in the center of a thing like that. How do we get piglins in the center of a block and... So they can only put things in the center of a block. And we would have to split them up 50-50. We would need 12 in each. Like, probably we would have to... Have bars? We'd have to just, like, put them in here, but... <clears throat> I'm still afraid of items going out somehow. Can you use water in the nether? I think people are just saying that as a joke now. 
Change their fence work well for centering mobs. Yeah, but not only it's not the mobs that I'm concerned about. It's the items. We need to center the items on the corner of a block. But yeah, we could we could somehow dispense gold into this middle hole. Uh And I don't think, like, if we, if we dispense gold into this middle hole, there's no way that the hopper minecarts can pick it up. I'm pretty sure that was just sacking. And yeah. Like, if we check down here, there's not going to be any gold. This is a lot of work, when you could have just had the piglins drop their loot at their feet, and then just pick it up through the ground with hopper minecarts. Uh, what does it look like we're doing? What, what is this again? Hmm? Hopper minecarts, isn't it? On the ground. Under the piglin's feet? No. <sighs> we definitely... Uh, <laughs> I've done this before. Place the gold at corner head height. Well, they drop their loot into the ground. Yeah, you probably had less piglins. The amount of piglins we have, we need at least six mine. We need at least six hoppers underneath them. Six. A regular minecart can suck up two. Will they collide? What we might be able to do, here's an idea. I'm starting to get tired, my ideas are getting slower. We could try something like... We could try putting the hopper minecarts underneath a central spot. Like, here and here. Just push them in like this. And this one's almost in there. More cells. I, just, I want it to be space efficient is the thing. And I think there's just enough space for another one to fit in. The middle two might... No, I mean, if the middle two are full, it'll just fill the other ones. But only at two speed. Seems like this isn't going to want to fit. This piglin trading facility is so much more work than I expected. Pushing two from the same one to the same one by one space. Well, then we have this the problem where um, they can only feed into four hoppers. And they need to feed into six. Uh, you know what? I only got a few hours of sleep. I am not thinking well. 
and I'm more easily frustrated. And I'm starting to get frustrated with building this thing. So you know what? And I've been streaming for eight hours. And then I'm gonna take it a break. Um, I'll be playing Super Mario Odyssey Tag tomorrow. We're doing some special stuff. Uh, I might figure this out off stream. Design it off stream. We'll see. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. One and one p.m. Maybe we'll do this in the evening or something. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out a solution. And then we'll actually be able to make some progress. We're gonna raid Goldie. He's doing runs. Have a good night. I am so sleepy. I'm gonna go straight to bed. Basmatics, Cartoon, the Foxy Ninja. Thanks for all the subs. I appreciate it. Bye for now.